talking. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get away from this. Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Miss my butthole, he laughed. From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective, here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hi everybody, welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, this is episode 1126, doing Doing it live, once again, 1126. Saturday bonus show, Saturday bonus show, and what I'm going to do right away is put that all-important Streamlabs link right there and pin it in the chat so all of you know to help us out. We're almost at 50% of our goal. I did a, a stream, I did an IRL stream last week, or, or early this week on, on Sunday, uh, so we we got us a, a little bit of a head start there, and then uh, we, we had some pretty good episodes and then we had a little few donos yesterday for the pre-show we're almost there we we, we've come into this with way worse deficits than where we are now so i know we can make it link is now pinned help us out uh i i've been putting in some work lately to change the scenes here to make them look a little different uh because they've been the same for so long so here's this one, and then we got this one going on where it's me and Billy, and then we can put other people in. There's like the like the guest window. The guest windows, though, they can actually be taken away as needed, which I think is kind of cool. Um, so like if if you know if we bring someone in, like if if we're like this and someone randomly calls, I can pop them in and do that. So that's good. I like that. Um, yeah. And and this one, this one's interesting too. This is my favorite one because my face is so much bigger. We just got a dono somewhere. Oh, did we get a dono? I'm pretty sure a nickel just came in. Did did we uh, not have? I don't know why that didn't come up. Yeah, Red Scare might still be coming up. I don't know. It says poop, poop, poop from Red Scare. I don't know why that didn't Uh-oh. come up. Um, uh oh, you guys got to send more donos in so we can figure this out. <laughs> And then it looks like Eric just shipped one in. I did not. Why are they calling not, for the fifty percent? Are they not coming up? I I do not see them. Let me Sam, see. I Let am. me see. Uh, Eric, thank you. Red this Scare, is a thank test you. Donation for seventy one dollars. I did a Putin. test. I did a five zero percent. See, there's no pop up here. We yeah, I wonder why there. that's happening. Give me just a second here. I'll I blame it, it on the lamestream media. I want to thank you, Sweet Bois, for always coming through with world-class content. One love. Thank you, Frank and Pinky. Now, that was from Frank and Pinky. Uh, that, I don't think that one even hit the goal. Very interesting. Yeah, that one didn't even go up to the goal because the goal was at 400 with Eric. This is a, a uh, I'll, interesting I'll have it up situation. In just, I'll have it up in just a second here. Interesting situation. Yeah, I'll have it up in just a second. I'm not sure. Every, I thought I had accounted for that, but I'll have it up. Everybody watching at home, this is uh, the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. And though she looks so sad in photographs, they absolutely love her when she smiles. So smile. I see Eric chucking. It's weird yeah, that Frank yeah, and Pinky yeah. didn't even It's coming up. It's coming up. Sorry about the delay. I don't know what happened. I thought I had added this part when I Scandalous. switched everything around. But, yeah, here it is right there. Now it's up. So now if I do a, a this dono, This is a test donation up. for $71. Eric said these, these donos are just like Cobes. They're not coming. Dry spell coming in nicely tubes. Damn. So the John donation covered up the Eric donation sign. That's weird, right? Why is Dream there Labs we, closed? This goes. The it's not closed. This goes. It's not. It's because I was messing with things and set up a new layout and for some reason forgot to add this. Is it closed, Red Scare? That's. I think Frank and Pinky's $5 donation didn't go to the... the thing somehow. If we're like $5 short tonight, we'll have to remember that. 
Very interesting. Thank you, though, everybody. Uh, Eric, Red Scare, Frank, and Pinky for coming through and getting yeah. us right off the bat. So We appreciate so we it. We weren't heavy into the show having to deal with this. Everything is set up now. Everything is fine. That. This fire is a controlled fire. It makes us very happy and warm. Makes some s'mores. Yeah. <sighs> um, I'm just adding one more thing here to make sure. Everybody who says that our pictures aren't clear enough and we should take clear photos, you don't want to see us in high def. And honestly, most of your favorite creators, if you saw them in high def, you'd vomit. Every time I try to do that, it's just a waste of time. I remember once I was like, I don't have a good picture of Joe. I need a picture of Joe. So I was like, Joe, send me a selfie. And he sends me a picture a from like a decade ago. Dollars. John. John, you're getting testy. Frank and Pinky, I don't know if your five bones are no good or not. Maybe I did the math wrong. In my world, I would though, say don't worry about it. In my world, though, your five dollars into our hearts, Frank and Pinky. Five dollars gets you a long way in my heart. I'm a total slut. A two dollar slut gets you two and a half pops for five bucks. That's not bad. This is a test right, donation that's for twenty two dollars. Good enough. You were thought, thought about, you thought you were about to say Joe sent a dick pic. That would be like Joe though. Joe, I need a better picture of you for the podcast. So he just sends in a no big Schwanz pic. It, it was a picture of him. I could tell was taken forever ago, and that was the picture he sent me. I I, I thought he would just because he has a, a phone. He would just like take a selfie and send it to me, but he didn't do that. That's not the way. So Joe I operates. I'm I'm done trying to find new clear pictures of people because it's just not even worth it yeah i have tons of awesome photos but they're all from when i was sickly fat that's why i'm trying to gain weight again so those photos work again bass player 13 good day mates i hate sickos so much i'll donate 666 interesting some of them are reading and some of them aren't this stream labs is easily the most confusing thing of my life i wouldn't draw too much attention to it like you wouldn't i mean like we'll get through it i mean i don't know i have to let the donors know that they're being heard even if they're not heard because they'll draw attention to it if i don't i'm looking out for you people so keep sending that money i'm gonna look out for you and that money just like this just do it like this to us this is what the rappers do when they make it rain this is how they go to strip clubs with money in their hand it's very cool. It's the future. All right. We're going to move on to the next thing here. Everyone liked the stream, and we're going to start off with antagonism. Here we go. Shout out to Owen working, working that job, working that day job. Glad you can listen to us while you work. Hopefully it makes the night a little easier. Wow. Simple Country is very sick. I think Auntie Jesse might have put a curse on him, knowing that our tag team match is coming up. I didn't just shave Stabby McHugs, but I do look very smooth because I went to Chipotle. Hey, look at that one. I would rather donate as Karen 12. I know, Steve. I know it ain't right. It ain't right. Stone boy. All right. First thing we have here is uh, Trumpster Bob reporting someone he believes to be a PDF file. So he's calling the police again. Reporting someone for being a PDF file, which it's probably not the case. Police and fire. How can I help you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I've been having a problem over the past couple of years with a stock a stalking gang, but I pretty much put that to rest. However, this guy that claims to be a cousin of the guy that was leading that bullshit, uh, he's a gay man that lives with a man. He has no children. Okay. And yet 
Yeah, he's got Lunchables and Capri Sun in his refrigerator. So either he's a man child that plays World of Warcraft all day, or he's humping them kids. Last night when he came on my live stream, before I knew who exactly who he was, he uh he was at a a junior high school uh, soccer game. Oh, hello. hello. Yeah. Let what? me stop you for a second. Where is this all happening at? What town? Oak Park, Illinois. This guy's a child uh, oh. predator, and I'm trying to help you and report this guy to you, so you I guys know to be on the lookout for this guy. Where do you think guy. he lives? Where do you think he lives in Oak Park? Uh, hold on just a second. I will tell you. He will tell you. All right. Take care. The worst thing about Trumpster Bob and his accusations is he accuses everybody. So odds are one time he's going to be right. The only uh, accusation we got is that we're Australian. Well, I know a lot of Australians. They're all sickos. The idea that he's going to be right at least once and then he's going to use that one time because he shoots a shot a thousand times. Odds are he's going to be right once. He's going to use that to say that he's always correct. That's that's all he needs is like one out of a thousand to give himself that one win and then his confidence goes through the roof. Bob, you're going to get lucky. Sure, Ben and I were Australian. That was your one time. You got lucky. Next time, not so much. Well, now, Noodles, no matter which address you're at, the police are going to know all about your fucking ass, you little bitch. And it doesn't matter if that video ever gets taken down. The police can go back and look at that fucking video, and they're going to see exactly what school you were at scoping out those little kids. And they're going to know exactly where the fuck you're at, you little He's bitch. reporting someone that lives in Illinois. We don't even know if he's ever been to Illinois. How the fuck does he know anything about anything? He doesn't. He's just running his mouth. You're a child predator. You swatted Elisa Jordana. And Did I'm you stalk I Elisa Jordana? To the police, but I'm in the process of that because i got to wait till the investigators call me back. So That's I can give happen. them a direct... You're going to be waiting a long time. ...link to last night's video where you were admittedly at an underage kid's soccer game. I believe they were junior high school kids. And you don't have any kids, so you had no fucking business there whatsoever. Maybe he likes the and shitty hot dogs. You weren't really watching the game because you weren't close enough to be even watching the game. Okay, so if he wasn't close enough to the game, then why does it matter? Bryant Field says, I'm a big fan of Law & Order, Trumpster Bob. Dun, dun, dun. dun you dun. were kind of backed off from the fence quite a ways. But How you do you know this? How does he know this? Was there like a video of it? You were heavily kept turning your head towards them kids, right? And it them happened kids. to be what? Little kids soccer ball game. Little kids soccer ball game. Okay. Yeah, that's that's that. When He's, it when it comes to soccer, some people prefer messy over messy kids, but others don't. Kids soccer can be cool to watch because when they lose, they cry. Um. Oh God. Okay, we're we're gonna get into this next one just to get it out of the way. Cheers to Germany. Um. Jared's latest video is telling everyone I not am a to big give fan of law and order. Trump's okay, I'm not Bob. seeing this dun, one. Done, done. We got this dono earlier with the picture, but it didn't play the audio until later. That is so weird. So maybe I, there is a Streamlabs problem. But I, I know it was like probably 20, 30 seconds late. It wasn't. I mean, it 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 wasn't set up right on my end. I had to like go in and create the source again. But there that that shouldn't cause it to be delayed like that. So yeah. I don't know why that was, but. Interesting. We're caught in a wind tunnel. Um, yeah, so Jared made a video asking people to not give Cobes money anymore. For no reason. How's it going, guys? It's your boy, Jay Genesis here. And, you know, I can't... Why did, okay, why even have that light on? That light is contributing nothing. It's flushing out one side of his face and creating this big, like, glare... In the left-hand corner, 
It's because he's a fucking idiot. It's daytime. He he doesn't need that light. There's he doesn't no need reason. a lot of this shit in his life, but he chooses it. About my law cows being one myself, we got to look out for what each other. What is going on between his eyebrows? What is that? Do you see it? It's a. It's a. It's like weird. It's weird. Is it a unibrow or is it? It's like, like weird some sort of skin. Jaundice. It, jaundice is, is it yellow. Eczema? Yeah, it could be eczema. It looks like eczema. I think he's a wash between his eyebrows. Most people probably do that, but maybe he doesn't. I heard he's trying to play uh, for the sequel to uh, the movie The Whale. He wants to be the Brendan Fraser's uh, replacement. Zoom and enhance. I'm not going in on that pick. I'm not going any closer than that. You guys are sick. <laughs> you nasty. I wonder if we can zoom and enhance. Let's see. Why uh, would you do this? Going to tools. We're Icky. going. Is it effects and filters? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I got this. I got this. Um, this one's on you. I'm not looking directly at the screen. Uh, this is your choice. Anybody watch it at home? All right, here, here we go. Here we go. I'm not the one. All right. Tell me when it's over. All right. Yeah, my face should be enhanced. I'm the handsome one. No pro Harry with the Patreon. What is that? Cheers. What is that? Hold on. Let's see. What is going on there? Oh my God! There's something hanging out of his nose too. I'm not gonna. Not gonna. Oh be my part God! Of, there's something hanging out of his fucking I'm nose too. Not gonna be a too. party to this. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Everybody watching at home, if you're uh, ah. if you're listening in right now, do not look at your screen. Save yourself the trouble. I'm not looking. And uh, King Cobra JFS, he's a big one. You know, he's got a lot of haters because he's got that fucking gothic bad boy swagger. He can't keep his haters off him. And you know, unfortunately, I can tell his mental health and physical health is starting to go on the decline. And so on the decline, guys, listen. And this is my only request in this video is stop giving this guy money. All right. He's spending it all on booze and fucking fast food. I don't know which one's worse, honestly. But they're both going to send him to an early grave. And you guys got to understand, okay? He's. God, he's so fucking gross. Yes. Got those sicko kinds of trolls. They get off on this shit, you know. They want him dead, guys. You you don't understand. Some of you guys don't realize, like, there's troll. Most of them don't want him dead. They enjoy watching him. And if he died, that would end that. Yeah, I think that, like, only Use Me Blade when he was streaming, I think most of his fans wanted him dead. Like, they were, like, waiting for him to die. It was sick. Uh, but I don't think Cobes is that way. No, no, no. And then there's the sickos. He's got the sickos. You are. You're one of them. All right. He doesn't have trolls. He's got cuckoos. All right. These people are nutbags, bro. They're they're mental, and they they get off on his. You know, Ew, I keep seeing like a spit bubble no, in his th mouth. There's an actual ah, guy's ah. like, okay, if I have to get graphic here, there is an actual sexual ah, fetish the corner, for this. The right corner. You know, oh, some people oh, actually get paid to it. smoke on camera because these kinds of sickos ah, get off on it. You know? Seeing people kill themselves slowly. <laughs> that's that's what's going on. He's red roomed himself. If you guys know what a red room is, you can look that one up on the dark web. But <clears throat> look, man, um, you know, I may not be completely crazy about the guy. And I don't think what's he even, going on like, like around his, the collar of his shirt. Like just what? dirt is me, but I don't. Don't you have to go outside to get dirt on you? Seth looks, says, "Hey, Jared, this is a good, this is good video game content." Harry Nopro says, "Thanks for a bunch of great videos recently. You guys should do a year in review type of show to end 2022." Why is interesting? Why is there no TTS? Dragon of the West says, "If this camera was mentioned to the mounted to the wall behind him, he'd be well lit." Do you think Jared is too gross for Andy Dick to go for? Of course, yes. Jared's not Andy Dick's type. Why do you think there's no TTS? I 
do you think that maybe when you were doing things, you might have reset it to be like ten dollars or above instead of five? Nope. And and that's through Streamlabs, not OBS. You don't set the prices for TTS. Yeah, and OBS. I mean that's just one reason why it wouldn't be showing up at five dollars, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, yeah. But Step McHug says because we're scammers. That's the most likely reason. Yes. Thank you, this Harry. Is a no test pro. Donation for six dollars. Yeah. See, oh, it does it. This is good video game content. Oh. See, now Thanks it's playing for a it. bunch of great that it's delay. Like, it's like stuck you in is there, a year and review. Is there some way that you have like a no? A, it's a not a setting. Delay? No, it's not a setting I've set. If his camera well, was mounted, if, well, if it was delayed, behind, why it would have been delayed be well when lit. I tested it too? Do you think Jared is too gross for Andy Dick to go for? If I know one thing, it's that everybody at home right now hates that Jared's face is so big. We should, if we got that zoom one going in, we should do the opposite and zoom out and make his video terribly small. It can't zoom I want out this anymore. dude to die, you know. Um, I'm sure his dad, you know, Clint, I think his name is, I'm sure he's done everything he can for him. And you got to realize, guys, okay, if, if Josh did need help, he could always go to his dad. He doesn't need your support. He's using it on booze. He's using it on other ways to slowly die. <laughs> Stop giving this dude money. Okay? Like, really, bro. You guys, you're, you know, you're not. Yeah, if there was a delay, then when I tested it, that would have came through on a delay. It's like my, it's like they're all getting stuck in the pipeline, and then when I do a test, it pushes the rest of them through. Realize what you're doing here with him. Like, come on, bro. I just, I don't want this dude to die, you know. And unfortunately, if things don't change, he probably will in the next year or two. Um, that's really all I have to say, you know. I, um... <laughs> It's just amazing, amazing the things people get away with on the internet. You know, all these cyber crimes. Uh, he is, he's being gang stalked by these people. And it's not a cyber crime, like what they're doing. They're sending him food. A lot of the times he eats it. They send him alcohol. He eats it. How dare they? They send him grinder dates. He doesn't partake. I don't believe that's a crime. Um, what grinder should probably do is block his address or whatever, or like. I, I don't know. I don't know how they I I've never used like a like an app like that. So I don't know exactly how it works, but I'm sure like at the app level they could stop sending people to him. Nothing's been done about it. Constantly having, you know, DoorDash to his door, uh other types of services, you know, even a fucking guy from Grinder I found out the other day. It's like, does no one give a fuck that there are people out there constantly tormented by morons like is this the world we're living in where law enforcement simply just doesn't care? You made a whole video telling us how law enforcement didn't care about you and all the shit you say. And now you're like, I can't believe law enforcement doesn't care about King Cobra getting food sent to his house. Well, yeah, he's, he's, he's complaining him here for himself and using King Cobra as the, uh, I don't know, the surrogate. So people might have sympathy for Cobes. He's the whole thing he's doing here is using King Cobra as a surrogate sympathy pillow. He's holding this. Eric says Jared's jealousy of Cobes getting donations coming in nicely, tubes. All right. That is most definitely what's up. All right. Let's see if I run a test if the test comes through and that TTS afterwards. Let's see. This is a test donation for forty dollars. Ooh, forty dollars! Jared's jealousy of Cobes getting See, donations. See, there it is. In nice there it is. Yeah. It came in right after. It's like up. something's getting stuck in the pipeline, and then when I do a test, it he reads. just made another video called "If King Cobra Had a Personal Trainer." <laughs> Damn, Egghead! Uh, that was from Egghead. Thank you, Egghead. If he had a personal trainer, would he look like Jared? Would he be a big fatto like Jared, who was no. bodybuilding and got fat? We should uh, we should go to the screen that's the two of us and the the screen behind us, the theater mode. Why? I like that one better. You know, obviously it is, Maybe and we'll I would know firsthand because I deal with it myself. But anyways, guys, I don't really have much else to say here. I'm praying for the guy. Because um, that's an old screen, right? I really am praying for the dude. It's not I the just, screen. The screen has nothing to do with anything like it has to do with the donation, the TTS part of it getting stuck. And for some reason, when I test it, it knocks it through. It doesn't matter. I mean, all the screens are visible to me right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, guess, I guess there's really nothing else to say, man. So 
all the best to the dude and um I don't know bro um yeah, yeah Combs he just, is better than he Jared needs to work on his category. mental and physical health maybe go to the gym eat healthy he can get better I know he can get better but it's gonna take some trying so anyways guys thanks for watching peace all right uh i will be right back um and we'll work on this i'll put you up full screen nice this is what the audience wanted they want a big handsome man not that booger face jared stinking up the screen everybody watching how you doing how you doing guys i strongly disagree <laughs> what's up frank and pinky super strongly disagree hell yeah came here from devouch hell yeah Owen. <laughs> dr wolf star says elon is my hero i've never i've never wanted to buy a blue check mark before partially because i had one but i'm i guess i'm gonna lose my blue check mark soon because i I don't think I should pay eight dollars for one. It seems like it defeats the purpose of a blue check mark. I do kind of want to pay eight dollars to be able to edit my tweets though, because oftentimes I accidentally spell something with like I'll put a dick where it doesn't need to be. I just got off work having some beers in Morton Dave. This is a great place to get off work, and drink some beers. It's not bad. Don't enable Elon's bad decisions. Look. I would love to drive a Tesla or have a Tesla drive me. I heard that the Teslas aren't even like advanced in the self-driving aspect anymore. And most every other company has beaten Tesla for the self-driving. There are two kinds of blue checks, the real ones and the pay ones for losers. I think they're getting rid of those, though. Brian Field says, Billy is the captain now. Yes, it's very important. Got to steer this ship right into the gutter. Yeah, see, that one just came through, and it's not going to read until, so. Dun, dun, dun. See, this is a test donation for $43. Now it should read theirs. Billy is the captain now. Yep, so it might just be it might just be a coincidence that. His, his newest video is him literally acting like one of King Cobra's his trolls. His newest video is him literally acting there like one of Cobra's trolls. There he you says go. says this and then contradict himself in the next video. Starting to get closer and closer every time. No, that one was pushed through by the one before it. That happened last time. Thank too. you, Knox. We should get a third host. I think we're going to hire King Cobra. He said he'd do it for some Doritos and some uh, Mountain Dew. But we have to get a rare flavor of Mountain Dew. That's the only thing holding us back. All right, here is an article about the whole uh, stuff that's going on with Elon Musk. And uh, after this, we'll watch the screen capture of his uh, Twitter space. I've never used Twitter spaces, but I've seen them up at the top of the app and there'll be like a ton of people in them. I don't like them because you can only do them from your phone. Yep. yep I like them. True. I want to do it from desktop. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to do it from desktop, but. It's, it's interesting. There's a, Is there audio here for the video? I'll play the full video. Uh, this is just... Elon Musk restores Twitter accounts of journalists, but concerns persist. He banished a bunch of journalists because they were reporting about a guy who was tracking his like plane flight logs or something. He would read the coordinates or the, the number on the back of the plane and then post where it was flying to and from all the time. And then he got into a space and got confronted by a bunch of them. And then he closed down the entire space's feature. It's crazy, but he can do it. You know, before Twitter was owned by like, you know, it was publicly traded and it had like a board and all this bureaucracy. Now literally one guy owns it. It's his toy to do what he wants. He can literally do whatever he wants with it. And so, I mean, if you don't like it, like I'm not in favor of a lot of the stuff he's doing, but you can leave. You can leave Twitter. It's kind of cool now because we had like the same number of problems before Elon. 
But now we can just blame them all on Elon. Before it was like, we don't know who to blame. Why is it doing this? Why am I shadow banned? What's going on? And now we're just like, oh, this sucks. Fuck you, Elon. It makes my life easier. <laughs> People do that with Susan at YouTube, even though she isn't like the owner of YouTube. Yeah. She's just the person they hired to be in charge. I don't even know if she knows how to use YouTube. She has a channel. It's funny. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons they got rid of the downvote button was for her channel. Because that's all it was. Oh, it was a lot of the YouTube channels, like the YouTube uh, Year in Review, the yeah. Rewind was always getting super down votes. And then also other people were getting down votes. And I think they're trying to mask all the people who are officially pushed. Because there's so many, like, Jimmy Kimmel type stuff that hits the algorithm because they're related to major news circuits, these, there these w- major channels. There was, like down votes that were used as like targeted harassment and that was the excuse they used. It, it did exist but yeah but like who cares about down votes right down votes can negatively impact your video uh th- there was this narrative that they were the same as getting an upvote they're really not uh it is engagement but it's negative engagement upvotes are are way better than down votes I I remember when Mundane Matt, after the whole like flagging thing happened with him, people were just like mass downvoting his videos, and just shit was like, shit was getting worse than ever before for I mean, Matt. Yes, but don't you think it was getting worse because people stopped like subscribing and watching him seriously? I used to stop getting recommended his videos, like I was subscribed to him and I used to get notifications and yeah. shit. There, there's probably is a lot that goes on there behind the scenes. The downvoting, because he was still getting a lot of views because people would go to his channel and play his videos and see what he would say. But they were all like heavily, heavily downvoted, and it 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 negatively impacted his channel. I remember Matt was so happy when they announced getting rid of the downvote. He huh. like made a whole video about it, about how it fucked his channel. Do they still exist, but you have to like look at them through a browser? There's like a plug-in, I believe, where you can still see them. You can see your own if you have a channel, but I-, I believe there's a way to still see other people's. Because you can still downvote stuff, right? Yeah. Like, we still have a downvote button. We yeah, just we can't see it. We can so, see the button, just not the the count. Yeah, so did anything really change from that? Like, you can still go and downvote, mass downvote um, shit? Being able to see that it's working, like people would buy like downvote bots and shit like that, and they would see. It's just it it doesn't the symbolism isn't there anymore. So it you can't be like, damn, everyone can see this video how it damn. has like twenty thousand downvotes. Anyway, so Elon Musk he banned a bunch of journalists. Then he got into a uh, a Twitter space with them. We'll play that in a minute. Uh, and then he closed down Spaces for, for a little while. Now Spaces are back, and I guess, I think he took, like, a public poll about whether or not he should unban the journalists. We'll, uh, we'll yeah, see. He's been it. doing a lot of stuff using public polls, which is, uh, I don't know. Do you guys think that's right? Can we put up a poll asking? Uh, here, here's the poll. Here's the poll. Now... <laughs> Unsuspend accounts who doxed my exact location now in real time. Now we're in seven days. <laughs> now... I mean, I could use a bot to make like a hundred accounts or whatever, a thousand accounts and then vote. I mean, like all it has, there's no, uh, there's no like cool down for a new account to vote in these polls. You can literally create a bunch of accounts and vote. He should make it it so only Twitter blue users can vote. Something like that. Yeah, that should be a setting on polls where you can keep it to only blue users yeah. or or maybe like accounts that have a verified email. Can we do members or only polls on this on this uh on YouTube where only members can vote? You might be able to. Cuz if we could do a member only poll, then we could actually make like the vote worth something. I do that through Patreon. Like if you guys Vote yes, we'll cut off one of my toes. People are asking what a Twitter space is in the chat. A Twitter space is like a, a, it's almost like an audio only like podcast format where you can bring in other Twitter users as guests. There was Uh, an app early on called Clubhouse where people would come in and they would uh, host like open forums in the app 
they would talk. They would invite certain people up to talk. You'd give some people the ability to uh, speak. Others would just be listeners. Twitter 100% copied Clubhouse. They're like, okay, we're going to imp- implement that into Twitter. And the exact same thing, Clubhouse then kind of died. And then a Twitter user can start a Twitter space, or they could before it got shut down, and talk about literally anything. And their followers and other people could be invited in to listen. And if you want to speak, you can say, like, raise your hand to speak. And the person who runs it can have them speak. So it was like an, a town meeting type forum online. Seth says him making those decisions by polls is really smart. Every big company, <laughs> every big company, is knock it through. Donation for fifty eight dollars. I wish that was him real. Making these decisions by polls is really smart. Yeah, hopefully, every big uh, company should be run by the opinions of trolls. I don't see why any of the things that I changed would affect the speed of the TTS. So. I'm thinking it's probably just a coincidence. We've had problems with Streamlabs before, so I guess we'll see what Yeah, happens. it could be a, a problem with Streamlabs. I don't think we need to run the fucking test donation every okay. time, though. Okay, all right. That's, that's, like, worse than than just reading them off. All right, we'll just go through them and read them off, I guess. Um, I'm pretty on it when they come through. All right. So, what do you think his location was actually doxxed, or do you think he's being a little loose with that term? Uh, they were doxing his exact location in real time, uh, but I think that the, him wording the poll like this is hilariously biased. He's 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 crafting it to make it seem as evil as it is. What the people were doing wasn't illegal. It was a little weird, and it probably wasn't safe. Uh, but who really knows? When you're famous. People follow you, like paparazzi and and other shit like that. So that just happens when you're yeah, this was, famous. The guy, the guy, like wrote an app that would be able to check the plane because the plane has to have a registered number, public information. Sure. And the app would follow that number when it landed places, and it would say where Elon Musk was going. Is he afraid someone's going to try to like shoot his plane down or that's, something? That's obviously a possibility, right? It's a Someone possi- could use like a drone or something. Or they could just be waiting at whatever location he's at to knowing that he's in that area and then get the, get the drop on him. That is a really real thing to like, you know, they... they like around here in the state of Washington, you have to have a drone pilot's license to have a drone and fly it. And there's all these, re- there's all these areas you can't fly drones because of airplanes. Because you could take out a 747 with a drone, uh, like without any explosives or anything, if it like took out an engine or something like that. So like if someone wanted to take down a plane. It, it, I, I, in Minecraft, I don't recommend that. Guys. Yeah, it's illegal with a drone. It's murder. It's it's pretty crazy. It's terrible. So I guess I guess it is a genuine concern. You are kind of like you're kind of at the mercy of you're at the many mercy things of when you're up the in the craziest air. person. But you're always at that mercy of the craziest person. Like it doesn't doesn't have to be a, a plane in the sky could be anything like if, if you are out in public and someone takes your picture and like oh i know that person i'm gonna go where the picture's from if i'm close enough i'm gonna go and i'm gonna punch them in the dick you know that's that's a possibility it depends on how much malice somebody's willing to perpetrate you can do it with a laser pointer says frank and Penny. don't do that people that's horrible horrible yeah i think you're thinking of Fortnite when it comes to planes Minecraft doesn't have planes. Shh. <laughs> I know everything about Minecraft. Everything. Everything. And it's not like this person is some kind of genius who's figured out how to follow people. It's sort of like he's the first person malicious enough to show us why it should be illegal, says Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, the, the guy did a very simple thing, and then every reporter that covered it, because they re- they covered the guy... They all got banned because they linked to the the guy's information and his site doing it. And so they got banned for for reporting on it. It's very interesting uh, how everything's unfolding in real time. This is Elon Musk buying Twitter has just been a series of unfortunate events. He brought back Baked Alaska, which actually I'm fine with. Did, did he bring back Nick? Is Fuentes back? I don't know. Fuentes had a sock account for a long time where he was liking uh, 
like Lolly or something, right? That was the idea, yeah. I don't know if it was ever proven, but it seemed to be pretty reasonably true. All the usual suspects were following that account, and those people don't give follows away easily, so, which leads me to believe yeah. even more. The idea was either that it was Nick because of all the followers, or all the followers were so dumb that they believed it was Nick, and they were they were all trolled, which they could is have possible. Been. <laughs> it's the more of them that were trolled, the less believable it is, in my opinion. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. Um. Yeah, so let's watch this Twitter. <laughs> Frank and Pinky says, it just makes me feel good that when the government finally turns on us, we have simple solutions. Whoa, 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 whoa. The simplest solution is just, just obey. It's the simple solution. In the last few hours with a, a handful of journalists uh, being banned. Uh, yeah, um, well... As I'm sure everyone who's been doxing uh, would agree, you know, uh, showing real-time uh, information about somebody's location is uh, inappropriate, and I think everyone... What if it's their own location? ...on this call would not like that to be done put to them, and and there is not going to be any distinction in the future between journalists, so-called journalists, and, and regular people. Everyone's going to be treated the same. They're not special because you're a journalist. You're, you're just... You're, you're a Twitter... You're just you're a citizen. Um, so, uh, no special treatment. Um, your dox, you dox, you get suspended. End of story. Um, so, and 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 and, like, and, 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 you, and ban evasion, ban evasion, or like, or, or trying to be clever about it. Like, oh, I posted a link to the real time information. It's obviously uh, that is obviously simply trying to evade the the, the meaning. That is. Let's say that I, I'm. We're out doing an IRL stream, right? We're live, uh, we're at the mall or whatever, and Elon Musk walks by in the live stream behind us. We're like, oh shit, that's Elon Musk. And everybody knows what mall we're at. Is that doxing Elon Musk? Because we, we've just live live shown his location in real time? Is, is, is that the level of... Uh, is, is that similar to what's going on here? Or is there a more malicious intent to this? Dragon the West says you can hear someone typing. Seriously, get a stealth keyboard. Oh, it's the worst. It's it's. I fucking hate people that just type during this shit. There's no different from than paste than actually showing real time information. Um, so uh, when you're saying posting a link to it, I mean the, some of the people like Drew and and Ryan Mack uh, from the New York Times who were were banned were were you know they were reporting on it in the course of sort of pretty normal journalistic endeavors um you consider that like a tricky attempt at ban evasion it's funny you show the link to the real-time information it's that funny because kevels is in there <laughs> evasion obviously i i drew i don't think you brian fields as people used to compare elon musk to iron man would iron man act like such a bitch for being doxxed yes Iron Man, Iron Man always would be in some crazy control stuff. I like if you watch the Marvel Cinematic Universe, every single bad guy all the way through that thing was a bad guy because Iron Man did some fuck shit. Like all all the way to Th Thanos, all the way up. You watch the whole thing; it all falls on uh, the, the Iron Man's back. We're posting the real time information, right? I mean, you're, you're suggesting that we're sharing your uh, address, which is not not true. Um, and you're suggesting that we're That's we're posting. And we never. Uh, I I never posted your address. You posted a link to the address. We posted a link. We in in the course of reporting about Elon Jet, we posted links to Elon Jet, which are now not online um, and now banned on on twitter and, and twitter also of course marks even the instagram and mastodon accounts of elon jet as as harmful using you know we have to admit acknowledge using the same exact i don't know who mastodon is when i hear that i think of the band there's a band called mastodon link blocking technique that you have criticized as part of the hunter biden new york post story. and then i think of the black power ranger in 2020 so what is different yeah. Here it's and no there. More acceptable for me. It's, it's no more acceptable for me, for you, than it is for me. Same thing. So, anyway, 
Uh, so it's unacceptable. Mastodon is a free and open source software for running self-hosted social networking services. Oh, I see. It's a Twitter al- alternative. Is that where people are going that don't like Elon? It's similar to the Twitter service, so they're being blocked from being talked about on Twitter, I guess, because they're an open source competitor. Uh, looks like. So Elon left this uh, space. Such a weird thing. It, it, that's a weird name Acceptable for it. what you're doing? No, what you, you, you dox- Where did he go? Major Lee Awesome says Iron Man doxed himself in the third movie on the news. He did it on purpose, though, so he's still a couple rungs up. Take my money. Thank you for the money. You get suspended. End of story. That's it. Elon, I have to ask. I mean, I think what everyone's wondering is it, it's highly unusual for journalists at the Washington Post and the New York Times to I don't be- see him on the list anymore. Who? Elon. Elon, uh, maybe he dropped off of... But he's still talking to them. Speaker role, maybe... I don't know. Do you just take over? Can he do that? (laughs) Can he he participate in a space without actually being in it? Have their Twitter account suspended. And it just so happens that it's, you know, the the boss in charge, you know. Uh, So, you know, what's the deal there? Oh, I think think Elon has has left. Yeah, he left. (laughs) I guess that's I'm unfortunate because the answer. yeah, <laughs> I mean, guess what the difference is there. You know, man, not I trying to. So many, I was raring yeah. to go, guys. <laughs> I know, I was too. I was going to order a cyber truck. I just want to say, sorry, I, I don't want to brow. Uh, <laughs> I was going to order a um, cyber truck. And, you know, this this is reporting, right? There is value to reporting where people go. You know, most of what Elon Jet shared was him going to the factory in California or the factory in Texas. Okay. So I guess we'll see what happens in the continuing doxed himself in the toward movie. On oh, the news. that was a he delayed on one purpose, coming through. Right. Though, so he's still a couple rungs up. Take my money. Was that one of them or two of them in a row? That was one of them. Okay. Huh? Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the Streamlabs tonight. We are 60. 60.62% of the way to our goal. And even though it's not working perfectly, yeah, it's, it's so- working because of you fine human beings. And I say fine whether or not you are fine. Okay? I believe you are. Uh... is there oh this is crazy uh this is a video called rev is always dying inside i guess i guess shanny and rev did a 48 hour stream but they slept through a ton of it which (laughs) doesn't count by the way i mean sleep streams are fun hey you know we can set up shop in here and and do a 48 hour stream and sleep for 12 hours of it yeah i don't think there's anything wrong with that all our farts all our farts while we sleep would be on the stream. I could set up T. I I've done two sleep streams in here, and I set up TTS on the speakers in here, and it woke me up every time. Yeah, I slept in here and had a dog collar on, and you shocked me when we got twenty dollars donations. Yeah, yeah, I think mine's a little more hardcore, Ben. You took naps. I took damage. I'm not competing. Oh, I'm winning if we are. Okay, cool. <sighs> Oh, shit. That's not what I meant to play. Uh, Here it is. Rev is always dying inside. The Joe is awesome. This is the legend Billy the Fridge. Look forward to new music. Yeah, thank you. Been in the studio working on some stuff. Appreciate the support. What am I hoping to get for Christmas? Price is core. That's Shannon. The Switch. Look at him. (laughs) Sugar cookies. Sugar cookie. Yeah, I'll take homemade cookies too. I got a plastic bird at Petco for four ninety nine. It has a feather wing that comes out both sides. Look One at my him. cat here. I I saw a video from this stream and I could tell Reb just was like looking down, like he's not all there anymore. He doesn't deserve to be. He's just a he made his fucking bed. 
the entire way through. He was a repugnant piece of shit the entire time he was on the top of the world, the world being her girthy gut. Every time he was fucking her in a porno video and uploading it to the internet and spamming their porn to troll people. Every time he was bragging and spending inherited money, gobs and gobs and gobs. Frank and Pinky says, I thrive in chaos. Fuck a troubleshoot. One love. Yes, Frank and Pinky. We will thrive within the chaos. But yeah, and he's fucking over here. Literally spent $750,000 in the course of about two years on Shanny. He chose to be with her. He chose this life. He ran out of the fucking money because he was, he was a worthless human being worth $750,000. And in two years, he was a worthless human being worth what he was worth. Nothing. There you are. Nothing. Sad, crying, wah, wah, wah. Bitch, you earned this. You've made your bed and you're sleeping in it. Fuck you, Rev. Carries it all over by the Wayne. Best four ninety nine I've spent. Like watermelon. I could see her just loving that. She probably you probably she probably carried around the house crying. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Yeah, he, by the, he did kick the 12-year-old in the head and the stomach based on police reports, right? So fuck you, what child abuser. Your life sucks because you suck. You deserve every fucking moment of this sorrow. Rise in it. But I got other responsibilities I need to do. Look at him. <laughs> And that'll be so cool to like play Crisis Core on the channel too. Uh, it'll be so it. fucking cool to play Crisis Core on the fucking channel too. It'll be so fucking cool. Tell me how fucking cool it would be if I played Crisis One Two on the fucking channel. Again, says I've seen that stare before. That's the thousand yard stare. That's the, I got no fucking future ahead of me. And my bass wasn't much to talk about either. And he's sitting here next to Shanny for Christ. And he's realized now the life he built for himself is not a life worth living. His questions are, does he keep revving his engine? Or does he shut the fucking thing off? Why my son is named Zach. That's why I want it so bad. Look at <laughs> Oh my god, my man why am I stuck with this fucking Zach, lunatic? I can think of new games I want. Or you could think of old classic games. Cause Steam has like all the old classic games that are nostalgic to your husband. So get up get off, off your off lazy, your entitled, lying, lying ass, ass and work to earn the money, money, to money to buy it. Buy it. I, I am. Four, that's the thousand yard stare. The thousand yard stare. This is the stuff of nightmares. Whoever edited this did a very good job. Um. <sighs> if I had a daughter, what would you have named her? Well. We'd probably name her Eileen, but I had this name since I was a little girl that I picked, and it was Isabella, Isabella Maria. Look, at, like, she's, she loves just, like, talking about herself, and and she loves being online and, and sharing every aspect of her life, and you can tell, like, Rev just sits there like, like an invalid. He likes it, too. He's just sick in the not fucking as, head. Not as much as he used to, though. G-Man was even mentioning that. The, the whole reason he's mulling in the fucking corner is because he heard G-Man offer him a fucking cookie if he leaves, leaves Shanny. All he's doing is sitting here thinking, <sighs> Mad baby, I should leave Shanny and G-Man will become my new daddy. He would have been That's better what he's off. fucking doing. He would have been better off if he had just spent his seventy seven hundred fifty thousand dollars on a hooker. You think? Yes. Of course. He's a fucking idiot, though. <laughs> like, who, who, like he didn't. He chose yeah. this life. Fuck you. You hit kids. <laughs> You're garbage. You're sitting here thinking that you have a better life with G-Man. That's what a pathetic piece of shit you are. You, you, wallow. 
garbage, trash, all of you, fucking terrible people. You made G-Man the hero. That's how fucking horrible you are. What does it matter? What does it matter? Yeah. I know, right? I know, so right? what the fuck so does it matter? Kaylee just chucked a $10 super chat. Said, uh, playing a Final Fantasy VII remake while listening. You guys make my weekend. Also, I was there in the live. The troll pizza is glorious. The troll pizza? What is that? Like, is that the person who edited this? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm old and I need things explained to me. Well, I don't know if that's Will true. I just was guessing. I assume it's what was meant. Maybe, I don't know. Seth looks says Rev looks like he's trying to figure out what to order uh what order to do a Chris Benoit in. That's so fucked up, Seth looks. I'm glad I'm glad I stumbled reading Isabella. that. Because that's fucked. <laughs> I always love that name. Remember uh when Okay every so often Streamlabs would run through all of our patrons? Do you remember that? Yeah. It would go through like every one of them. So I don't know. Hopefully this this gets sorted out. Kaylee just uh, said no. Someone sent a pizza to them with just hot peppers and no cheese. <laughs> so that was what the troll pizza was. I see. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, he is like, yeah, I'll kill that bitch. He put his fingers to her forehead and was like, if this was a gun, I'd shoot you right now. He yeah. literally did that. He hit her kids like he's garbage. Yeah, Suffer. I used to feel sorry for him I don't, I, until I, I, I found out. I never that felt out. sorry for him. He chose this fucking life. He chose to bang Shanny on yeah. video and then spam the video to people in, in, in a, an attempt to troll. Garbage human. You say you're here for Christ. Name name is literally Shanny for Christ, and Rev is short for Reverend. You speak for God, but you live for the stockpile shit in a fucking dumpster. I thought it was short for Revelation News. Oh well, yeah, sure. Revelation is also godly. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it is. It's like the, the 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 Rev was short for Revelation. It's you're you're claiming God. Yes. You're claiming God, but you're acting like a fucking actual human excrement. Across the board. Nine. <laughs> laugh out loud. Well done, Shanny. You're welcome. Oh, Lily, you're getting your first free baby in April. See, that's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> this is so crazy. Sven's asking if there's anything you want to talk about. Sven's asking if there's anything you want to talk about. He's like, no, I don't want to talk. You're making me sit here. Oh, you're crocheting the baby's blanket. Oh, God. Are there people that unironically watch Shanny? I'm sure there are, yeah. Oh, my God. I... I do not understand that at all. I mean, there's obviously people out there who probably feel sorry for Shani and Rev. There's a lot of people that have good hearts and bad brains, right? Like, it's not hard for them to see all the hatred these people get and feel bad for them. Like, they do get a lot of hatred. It's all well-earned. Yeah. That's not, that's not even an opinion. That's just like, if you look at the facts... Like, the, all the shit they've done is deserving of scrutiny. It's on, on paper, they're, they're pieces of shit, but it doesn't matter, you know? People see, symp people see sympathy where they see sympathy. They see hurt, they see pain, and they feel bad. They, they empathize with the pain. And there's obviously pain here. Obviously. Shani doesn't get to be as fat as she is, as putrid, abusive to the people around her. Bobby B with the super chat, thank you. You don't get to be as abusive and putrid as you are without hurting a little bitch yourself, right? Same thing with this fucking pig human, Revelation News, who's been a repugnant garbage human being with her by her side, her salacious crumb. 
It's, it's really the perfect <laughs> pair right here. She's going to fucking eat him one day, and then we'll at least get to laugh until Princess Leia chokes her out. G-Man is the Princess Leia. That's the sick part of all this. That's how gross this all was. But hurt people hurt people. And people watching are empathetic to that. There's tons of people right now who probably had like a mom or a sister or, or a, a fucking brother like like Rev or Shani. And they watch and they, they identify and they're like, fuck, you know, uh, I'm going to be here for these people in some way because I don't have much else going on in my life. And that's, that's, that's a reasonable thing to exist. Like, even the most horrible people in the world deserve any sort of love given their way. Like, I would never want to take that away from Shani or Rev. The love they get, that they, they do deserve something. I'm not going to give it. I'm definitely out of their fucking pay grade as far as appreciation goes. But if there's someone out there who does, good for them. Are you here for the baby oh, you or for the game? My God! <laughs> but this is also a, from a forty-eight hour stream, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he could just be fucking tired and bored after forty-eight hours. Oh. Not everybody's as talented as I am. Oh. They can't sit on screen for forty-eight hours and just weep, weep honesty and, and hilarity. So You're gonna have your down moments. Was born. The Stoner Koala says, this guy is awesome. Billy's just a hater, but I'm a good hater, bitch. I'm right. You can't say I'm wrong, bitch. <laughs> Jeff Holiday says, these people are together because they just gave up. Well, I I don't know if they just gave up, right? Like, like look at them. They, they try. They get online. They, they they pretend to be doing something. They pretend to be creators. It's, it's like they're, they're kind of trying in some ways, but I don't think they can get better either way. They found their match, right? Look what's close. If Rev does decide to follow the path of... Uh, to follow the path of... One second. Follow the path of a certain wrestler. He should at least do Shanny first. So the children with no peace. Stop it. Stop that liquid skelly. It's terrible. It's terrible. Absolutely horrible. But. Chris Benoit? That's what the kids say. What's up, Jeff? How you doing? Good to see you. What's up? Zachary. Zachary. <laughs> I, I see people asking which one, like, where we're talking about, like, the, a Chris Benoit scenario, which is terrible, horrible. I really uh, don't even like joking about that. I love Well, the kids aren't it, there, right? Uh, the, I think the kids have been taken away. Okay, so I think. the full on Chris Benoit so, uh, scenario can't happen. But, but, like, the question who would end who first, right? Like, if, if they did go for each other, I think Rev would probably be the miserable one. To end it, even though Shani was the one that attacked Rev and went to jail that one time, we know Rev held that gun to her head and threatened her. Or it wasn't a gun, right? It was like he made the. It was like a finger. Yeah, the to finger her gun. head. But it was like he made that threat. It was symbolizing it. Like, like you really don't know. You really don't know what would happen. But it's 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 fucked up to to question and think about at this point because it is kind of getting to that and i hope if shani or rev are watching after i've just shit all over them i hope you guys uh get some help and maybe get the fuck away from each other before something like that does happen i think he's fallen asleep again <laughs> editing's usually a single person thing it's, it's yeah i i know you Definitely know that. You think I'm too stoic? I don't think so. Did she say, do you think I'm too stoic? Yes. That's the first I've heard that. Yeah, me too. I oftentimes think of Shani for Christ as being too stoic. Hi, watermelon. Yeah, I... Meow. Meow. Wow. I wonder what their viewership was like in that, you know. 48-hour stream. They probably had, like, 12 people. 
Look, we know there's at least one or two people in our chat right now that watched live. So yeah, that's, that's mind blowing to me. Because you know most of it is just trash, and then every now and then they feed you that moment. You know that that golden moment. Yeah. I do appreciate everybody watching right now saying how much better the donos have been with me reading them. I, I think that's probably why we're doing so well on the goal tonight. Uh, you're, you're welcome, guys. A little, Jesus little free bonus. Christ. little free bonus. All right. Um, what is next? Oh, here's, uh, here's uh, Anthony and Gavin... Talking about advertisements that piss them off. Oh, I'll tell you, watching that Peacock Network last night with the commercials because I didn't Peacock pay Network. the premium price, so uh, they put in like one minute of commercials every half hour or something like that. Not too bad, but uh, every fucking commercial. Every if commercial. you think regular TV commercials bad, this is like strictly NBC. So. Their fucking commercials on there. Black Santa Claus getting, you know, a cookie or something like that. And don't even and get me started on family Black Santa. That I can't even tell you what this was. This family's pulling up next to a semi truck. And of course, the the, the dr guy driving the semi is a black gentleman. Yeah. Southern fucking good old boy. <laughs> and, and the family in there, it was like a white good old dude. Good boy, huh? I didn't even see the wife. The kids... A mishmash of Asian and black, and it's, <laughs> I couldn't even tell what the f was going on there. It was nuts. They still can't get past the point, though, where they will cast a real black woman. Like they got black yes. women, and they're kind of light. They got curled like hair. They look like Brittany Venti, and yes. and, and then you okay. know the white Cosby dude, show. right? Cosby you know why? Show. They won't get. A, a rotund, big ass black. Uh huh. You ain't gonna. Uh, we going to the woods to go camping. Mm -hmm. You know why? Leslie Jones is, is. They don't show up. To, they don't look at the like Craigslist <laughs> or like commercial. <laughs> Geico. You're, wow, commercial. you're going that far that they're oh, not yeah. even auditioning. They cannot find them. <laughs> why Leslie Jones? Well, they're saying that people like Leslie Lee Jones can't find auditions to act in, even though Leslie Jones was in uh, a lot of stuff. An awesome Ghostbusters movie, among <laughs> other things. Like, wow. She like, obviously, Hi, she obviously found her way into film. <laughs> Go. Would you show up to a commercial? All right. How much you pay? I. It doesn't pay shit, by the way. I made commercials. It was yeah, like hundred yeah. bucks a day. Yeah. And like, how I like how alt right bucks? white you Fuck. have to be. So when you when you go to the the token black woman that, that they would use on TV, you choose Brittany Venti. <laughs> Red Scare says, "I wish I had the death note, but for punching the punch note, this world would be a better place." I do think that like there should be the <laughs> punch note. You should be allowed every year, like when you, when you file your taxes, you get a a punch card, and. You can sell your punch a card. A literal punch card. You can sell your punch card. If your punch does any permanent damage, uh, the punch card's invalidated, right? Any 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 permanent damage. Like if you damage, kill somebody by you, punching if them. You, if you if you like make their eye wonk even, like you have to be you careful give them an with Ethan the punch. Ralph eye. Yeah, you have to be careful with the punch. If there's any permanent damage, you can be charged. The punch card will be invalidated. But everybody once a year should get a punch card. How about, well, like, what about a broken nose that requires, like, surgery and your nose, you know, maybe they can fix it a little bit. The government bit, it, is going to pay for that. But I'm saying, like, your nose will never, it is technically permanent damage. Then it's damage. permanent damage. Oh, damn. Yeah, you can't do any permanent damage, but you get a one punch, and the, the punch card's transferable. Like, if someone wants to, it's cap, we're capitalist society, if you don't want to hit could nobody. I, could I, uh... Like, buy a bunch of people's punch cards and then, like, pay Mike Tyson to go around punching people for me with my punch card. I I mean, it's transferable. I'm an, on, I'm an entrepreneur, okay? Yeah, you could, but, but if Mike Tyson, here's the thing, Mike Tyson might not want to take that risk because he knows he's going to probably Do make permanent, permanent damage, damage, right? So how much would he you will be willing to pay? He will collapse an eye socket. How much would you be willing to pay? Mike Tyson to do that and why would Mike Tyson want to do that if it's risking permanent damage I don't know this is a hypothetical question it's, it's but it's a good idea 
every year on tax season, we're given a punch card, and maybe, maybe I'll be like, hey, man, heads up. I'm going to use my punch card on you. I'm going to. If you don't want to get hit, give me your punch card. We'll call it even, then boom. You bullied your way into a double punch year. Stuff like that, I think, is fair. Up I think that. That's the future. Even if they said a thousand bucks, be like, all right, I'll be there. At what time? Three o'clock, uh, 132nd Street, and <laughs> yeah, four. Yeah. All right. Uh, 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 I, Shaniqua? I was sleeping. Oh Sorry. my God. Shaniqua. Like, such a stereotypical name. Of course. These, these are the two guys that are going to have the most lazy fucking racial takes of all. These are lazy. These are granddad racial takes. And the type of people that, like, giggle at this shit, I mean, you're, 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 you're not highbrow. You're lowbrow. This is the most easy fucking gimmick shit. Uh, when when Martin was doing Shaniqua in the fucking nineties, and then all the YouTubers in the early two thousands were doing the the revisiting. Oh, I love Martin. I'm gonna do blackface. Hi, my name's Jenna Marbles, and this is my Shaniqua character. Twenty years later, twenty years after that, these motherfuckers are like, oh, oh, oh. and then Shaniqua comes in, and she can't she can't even be in a commercial. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Forgot about that whole thing. I'm busy. I didn't want to do it anyway. They would love to get some Alec Weck piece of coal in there to be the. Oh yeah. They just don't show up. Just some, um, cause th I think that would be shocking. Too. This is so Seth racist. Looks, it must be exhausting to watch TV and movies like guys like this having to count and keep track of how many non-white people they see so they can complain about it later, right? Like, I was thinking about this the other night because I am white, so I am questionably racist, right? Questionably. I was thinking about it. I was like, how many people do you have to see in commercials that are people of color for you to actually give a fuck about it? Knowing full well, there's tons of commercials with white people. And and there's tons of white people in roles in TV. Every, every time you say, oh, they, they, they gender swapped or color swapped this superhero. We got enough fucking white male superheroes to, to choose from. It's like, do, do, we, we get it. Like, you're pissed because Kingpin was Michael Clark Duncan. And that fucking soiled your undies. Like, but... It's not a big fucking deal. We have Vincent D'Onofrio doing Kingpin now. Like, that's a good, that's a come up. You couldn't wait 10 years for a better Kingpin. You had to cry then because you thought you were losing something. All you were losing was caring about bullshit. These are commercials. They're designed to target demographics. The demographics they're targeting right now, we saw, we watched that ad was it from the 60s? It was like a, a directional ad of how to appeal to black black people. It was like from the 60s. When was this? Uh, years ago. But okay. it was like it was like a now the new ad space is opening up. We're going to be targeting ad advertising to the the black the black buyer. The, the opening up a new market. This is from the 60s. This was the the, the, the idea. Advertising is there to manipulate to watch you. TV and oh. movies like guys like this having to count and keep track of how many not white people they see so they can complain about it later. I mean, I've seen advertising that was targeted towards certain ethnic groups, definitely. Like, I've seen also, like, McDonald's. I've seen McDonald's ads that you can tell, like, most of the people in it are black people. And, Who's like, we just... Hosting this boring nothing cast with Gavin. He there's there's like targeted advertising, for sure. The shovel. For, He's like, the larger... genetically superior to a goblin. So is this yeah, working Eric, now? Yeah, it's working now. Eric, this is uh, Anthony Cumia from Opie and Anthony. But yeah, he does have a bit of a goblin face. But the, the, the idea that marketing isn't there for a reason, it's effective. It's, it's what they, they wouldn't make these commercials if they weren't trying to sell you and if they didn't work. Like Sure, maybe, maybe, maybe there's an agenda, right? But the overall agenda is they're trying to get you to talk about it because when you complain about this shit, it's free marketing. You're part of the trap. You're part of the problem. You don't even notice it. It's embarrassing. Grow up a little. Stop following fucking commercials. Live your life commercial free. Put a fucking ad block in your mind. So you're saying like 
they want the quartering to make videos about how he's mad yes. about the stuff. Yes. That's the entire design of advertising in the last 10 years. They, they want people to be split so they argue and talk about it. They, 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 they will drum up more interest if people feel emotionally invested in it. And they will play you versus somebody else because they know whichever half chooses to de- defend their product... That's more people buying the product than if nobody would have been arguing about it at all. Wah! There's black people in the Lord of the Rings! Wah! Yeah, that shit's so stupid. So tired of it. Ball. It's so true. Oh, it's so true. Like, facts, again. No wonder AI gets in shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, These guys let's... have money, and they're drinking Budweiser. I, I mean, like, like what you like, you know, it's subjective. But man, I would think they'd be on some some high class shit. Not everybody's as spoiled as 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 the Dunkel Weizen drinkers. <laughs> Talk to a uh, Scott the from Connecticut. Oh, those are delicious. Scott, what's up? Yellow. Yeah. yeah, it's weird. Like, I've hardly even craved drinking, and I haven't drank since November 30th, and I used to drink several times a week. So it's it's weird. So I, at least I know I'm not at that level where I would, like, get the shakes or something. That's good to know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, Matt. A, that's a nice plus. Uh, yeah. Matt, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I just wonder if you guys saw the commercial... I think it's Subaru, where they're like two, two white, or there's a white dude and a black dude, and they end up like stealing a sheep, and they bring it home, and then it shows them walking on the beach with it. I don't know what And then the, the white guy Subaru fucks the thing. sheep. Uh, we're, we're watching it now. Let's, uh, okay, let's so see. we're in the field. Uh, there's a sheep there. Okay. All right. And it's copyrighted music. Major. Yeah, yep, yep. Okay. Can I uh, Can fast forward? I'll, uh, yeah, I'll speed it up a little At bit. At least. Are they going to have <laughs> sex with the sheep? Or doing? <laughs> he drinks the toilet. They're friends. When you break from the herd. The whole time she's Wow, well, that is... That what, is are they gay together? Diver- like, what's going well, on? they're gay. Obviously. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Black dude and the white guy are gay. Okay. Definitely. Who cares? And then, <laughs> yeah, who cares uh, break- if they're gay if they're going to fuck that sheep? You that guys is- are like, oh, you know what? That's the worst thing. The advertisers, they made the sheep fucker video, but they made the sheep fuckers gay. Well, see, that's the thing. <laughs> their their thing is like, oh, yeah, gay guys, they would want to fuck a sheep. It, it, they do the same thing with saying gay people are PDF files, too. It's like, no, they're sheep fuckers. Big Diesel, big love to you, my friend. I'm glad you're here with us tonight. From the herd, so you got all these sheep. That's saying be a f- yeah, be a yeah. F- yeah, yeah. Again, this is a white woman. All this. They're like, I want to see like a gay interracial couple doing something kooky, like uh, stealing a sheep and then they wash it and they're all friends. Uh, oh, there's no crime. And, and God knows they're fucking it. Well, we all know that. I think I think that's the that is the one thing there that really go. does pop in your head. They must be fucking that sheep. <laughs> oh. God knows they're fucking it. Gays. Okay. Yeah, they're they're just full on now because they're never going to get hired by <laughs> Sirius XM again or anything like well, that. Yeah, Anthony Cumia, he was the funny guy next to Opie. Like, like Opie was already the guy with the gig. He brought in Anthony Cumia. Anthony Cumia was funny with a guy that wasn't that fucking funny. And then funnier guys came through and made the show really fucking good. And then motherfuckers couldn't keep a good thing going. They split up, and now I'm here. Wait, no, the wrong podcast. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to play this video yet. We'll we'll get into that later. I didn't know that this. There's was butts. Way. Yeah, I might skip through that part. It's like he brought a guy with like a pair of sweat pants on. Uh. Holy shit, okay. The uh, boomer humor. They do think like me, don't they? It took them a while to get to the sheep fucking thing. If I see two men and a sheep. Two sheep. One shear. It's 
is how you make a sweater in this economy. They have these Beecher's mac and cheese kits where it's it has everything that you need to make the Beecher's mac and cheese, the pasta and the different cheeses for the cheese blend and all that shit. So I sent that to my parents for Christmas. And we'll see what my, my I'm worried my dad might put ketchup in it. He likes to put ketchup <laughs> on mac and cheese. So. Uh, if he does, he does, right? Like I don't want him to do it. Like it's it's it, not that. You can do it with craft. Whatever. That's cool. They send you the Tony Pacos though and uh yeah. you send a little Seattle back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did the local food exchange. Yeah, those pickles are so good, man. I'm about to crack that open eventually here. Yeah. Ketchup and mac and cheese, dude. Some people put yeah. so much stuff in mac yeah, and cheese. Yeah, it turns orange. Like, especially, and I'm talking craft mac and cheese, because that's the mac and cheese that, that that was the only mac and cheese at my house back in the day. And I didn't eat it because I was a really picky eater, and it looked gross to me. And it still looks gross to me. Like I would rather just make my own mac and cheese. You know, like just even you could even make like cheap mac and cheese with like cheddar. And and macaroni, dry macaroni, and it would be better than craft. But anyway, yeah, my dad used to like because that weird yellow, the weird yellow fake cheese that you make f- with the like packet of shit for mac and cheese. When you mix that with ketchup, it turns orange. Yeah, it's like it's, mixing paint. <laughs> it's like Hulkamania running wild. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it is what it is though. As far as mac and cheese goes, like you can have really gourmet, great mac and cheese. Or you can have garbage mac and cheese, and I don't judge anybody for eating it anyway. Uh, when it comes to, like, a steak, I get a little judgy when people put ketchup on a well-done steak. But even then, it's like, whatever. They eat what they want to eat. That's fine. Like, yeah. I'm fine with that. Um, I watched a documentary about the history of craft, basically. Like, the uh, you know, the, the guy that the company's named after, he spent years trying to figure out a a cheese product that wouldn't spoil as easily and that's where like and that was like the basis of all of the craft foods that that are like boxed and shit uh and his first invention is what we know as american cheese he created american cheese is velveeta is that does that not spoil? They're owned by that's owned by Kraft now, but I don't know if that was an original Kraft product that they acquired later. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, d- does Velveeta d- does it just sit on a shelf? I swear I, I never see so. it in the freezer section, but I could be wrong. I don't know if it would be in the fr- uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I always assume because there's the dairy section. I'm not sure where it is. I don't like it. I don't buy it. Uh, but I would think if it was, it'd be like with the other cheese. Like in the not in the freezer section, but in like the dairy section with like the cheese. Nistia says Velveeta can spoil, yeah. but it is shelf stable. Ha. Huh. Yeah. I, I didn't even know that. Yeah, so that's it's that kind of shit. I thought it was shelf stable, but I wasn't sure because I've never actually bought it. And I don't know if I ever will buy it. I don't think I've ever owned Velveeta. They didn't even have reliable refrigeration when craft started making a lot of this shit so that was the whole idea like how can how can cheese last longer than like a few days if you don't eat it uh simple country says big secret for homemade mac and cheese can of pet milk in the sauce what what pet, pet milk? milk what What's the pet fuck milk? is that what are you doing simple country who am i tagging pet with milk like i gotta milk my little dog and put it in the mac and cheese yeah wh- who's my tag team partner here <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> Thought he was the coolest fucking dude. Now out of nowhere. You gotta put a little pet That's milk. That's some sicko shit. You gotta put some pet milk in your mac and cheese. That's I'm just that's a, your tag partner, man. I'm How just are you gonna a pull simple this off? country detective with a simple country recipe. That's your tag partner. You got to get Fido down on his back, rub his belly until that pet milk comes out <laughs> in the mac and cheese. If it's if Fido's a he, then the milk is going to be something different. Uh oh. <laughs> I've only ever milk. had I've only ever had boy dogs for pets. 
And you've you've rubbed their belly I've until never milk. I made that type of mac and cheese, you, Ben. You rubbed their belly until milk came out. I I never milked a dog. Just I just rubbed know. that one nipple a bunch of times, if and the milk come out. All my pets have been boys. I don't put two and two together. Was your coffee extra I've creamy? I've never milked a, a pet. You just said it like you're an expert. I'm just trying to. You understand just explain what this like you're an expert. Country's talking about. No, no, no. You no, yes, gave yes, us yes. You gave us a crash course. On don't put this evil on me. Boy dog. You're a fucking dog owner with girl dogs. How would you milk them? I don't know. I've never milked a dog exactly. before. Exactly. I took a fucking leap of faith. I'm not going to be put out to dry on Sicko. this one. You wouldn't even you wouldn't put your money where your mouth is and you got girl dogs. You're a coward, Ben. Milk I those dogs. Go you milk them. A boy dog. You go milk those dogs. Then you can talk to me about You're this. You're a sicko. You were milking boy dogs. You go milk those dogs. Then come talk to me. I'm not going to milk a dog. Then I won't take this judgment. Not from you, not from anybody. What? You're, uh, this doesn't make any sense. But why am I not surprised? Bubba Husky says pet is a brand of canned condensed dairy products. And now I feel like Boo. an idiot. Boo! Boo! Do they milk boy dogs? Boo! <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Big C Man. And there's the celebrity lesbian songwriting singer named Lady Gaga, and she is not really that great. This is what I think of Lady Gaga's music. You think this guy's from around here? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know him? Yeah, he's just a... <laughs> he's the average Seattle male. He dresses like shit, and he's in the closet. You suck. Why does he look really short? Is it because his his uh, shirts are hung up and they look like they're like way up high? I don't know. Does he hang his clothes from the ceiling? This is what I actually have. I have CDs, DVDs, vinyl records, video games, and turntables. And yes, I'm not afraid to use all of them. <laughs> Classic Seattle. Is this Hawkeye from our chat? Lady Gaga can just kiss my ass music-wise because she's not a good performer. People are like, oh, is that all he has? Well, no. This is what I think of your music. <sighs> you are a fame monster loser, a crying looking suicide freak, a loser type of... A crying looking suicide freak. Yeah, I worry about this guy now because he's dumb and he's... <laughs> Because he's and he's probably projecting. Go get some help, Papa. And a slut. <laughs> Who is this guy? I'm this fascinated. This is Hawkeye. Now. He's a, he's in our chat. Hawkeye's a fan of of our chat. He's a fan of King Cobra. This video looks old. I don't know. <laughs> no, really, see. she does. Yeah, this is suck. Hawkeye before the he retired. Cheerleaders kicked your ass in used high school. He to be a content school. creator. The cheerleaders punch Lady Gaga right in the face and say. Your music is a piece of crap, because <laughs> Lady Gaga is a piece of shit, basically. What, what What's the problem? Like, Look, obviously the problem is that Lady Gaga is a piece of shit, basically. Do you think but she more, is? But more intricately, when you go beyond the basics and you really look deep into the Gaga, we're the pieces of shit. When she's you, simply the fly circling us. When you fall beneath the surface of the Gaga... Lady Kaka. That video was 11 years old. Oh, my God. He hasn't made a video in three years, but it looks like there's like years and years and years and years and years of videos on here. This is our time capsule friend from Seattle. We're going to uh, oh my continue God. watching him. Basically, in reality, I do have a hidden message to Lady Gaga's opinions. Here's my message. Kiss my bitch, Lady Gaga. <laughs> what? Well, it, ben, go kiss back. Kiss my bitch. Go back. Go back. Pause it on this. Give the people a big screen, okay? All right. Make this big screen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is now your new wallpaper. This is, this is what we live for. <laughs> kiss my bitch. Lady Gaga. We're actually going to put this on a t-shirt so you guys can buy this t-shirt directly from Drunken Peasants. This guy's name is Cullen Sarnell. Get you, don't don't dox Hawkeye. This, ladies and gentlemen watching at home, 
This is this is the new drunken peasants Christmas card. Kiss my bitch, Lady Gaga. Okay, this is it. Well, it was actually it was close. The correct answer was kiss my ass, you fucking bitch, Lady Gaga. Nope, you got it Lady right the Gaga first time. Lady Gaga should commit suicide. Oh my god, in Minecraft, in Minecraft. <laughs> uh, do we know what happened to this guy? He hasn't uploaded in three years. You think he's doing okay? I don't know. He has a channel with like years of videos because this video is eleven years old. And then his last one was three years ago. He, I, I don't think he ever got more than a thousand views. Most of his videos have like a hundred. Uh, so King. he's our new friend. He is. He's our new it's, lol cow. It's Cullen C U L L E N Sarnell S A R N E L L E. He died when she kissed his bitch. Should have never asked her to kiss his bitch. <laughs> and she be like. Ah! I'm not a big fan of Lady Gaga's music. He kind of strikes me as, like, a Jared type. You know what I mean? Like, But the truth know. is, we're always going to be e enemies. I guess he has clothes on, <laughs> basically. <laughs> to go tell back, the truth, go back. Go back. Ten seconds. Listen to this. But, ah! I'm not a big fan of Lady Gaga's music. Okay. But the truth is... We're always going to be e enemies, basically. <laughs> to tell you the truth, we're even. You went to Radio City Music Hall before I did. Well, I started YouTube before you did, so in your face. <laughs> Look, I'm not a big fan it's of something. Lady Gaga, but truth is, we're always going to be enemies. <laughs> Bobby Beast, I love how happy with himself he was when he told Gaga to unalive. And that's fucked. It's so fucked. He was so happy. Peace. <sighs> it stopped working again, didn't it? I don't know if the Super Chats ever See, did read it, Ken. Oh. Lady I think Gaga they might have only read it 20. Oh, I you're like, right. Lady Gaga is a damn joke. You know what Lady Gaga should do? She should burn in hell. Burn it down! <laughs> okay, here's my ending. This guy's got a little bit of. <laughs> here's my ending. This guy's got a little bit of Christian Weston Chandler. A little bit. He's got a little bit of. Uh, Jared. A little bit of Jared, obviously. This messy. I don't know if this room's messy as if it's just cluttered. It's like a. It's a laundry room? I don't know. He's He's got a whole lot of little triggers that are familiar. And he's also. He's also his own little fucking weirdo. I am a fan. This is a sweet new find. We're going to milk the fuck out of this guy. <laughs> Good times. Um, it's like, no matter how many YouTube performers like your music, this is what I'm like, basically. I am the YouTube villain. I am the evil performer. I am the bad guy. And I am the dark master of the internet world. And I like to thank you guys for watching this bit. Ah! <laughs> this bit. He's a master craftsman. Master craftsman. Thanks for watching this bit. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. I like no that big celebrities sigh were harmed in the making of this segment. This segment? Se this segment. Is he just like a master comedian? You want to rate and comment my videos? My email address is thebigcman at gmail.com. We got to reach out to him. If he's in Seattle, we should uh, 2010 changed, changed the channel dot com. Ba -bum -bum. That turned into an actual mania promo at the end, for real. Uh, that, like uh, We got to message him and get him to start competing at actual mania. We need Liquid Chris in actual mania. We... Oh could reach out to liquid chris i talked to him in dms not too long did you ago. ask him i didn't ask him i was just like cool like i asked him if he'd be on the show and he said he would but like he's working on something right now so he's not free right away but he might be he able to do one two minute clips once or twice a month for actual mania this ask is him. the true and honest ask him the ball's in your court now Everybody's talking Cut it about. Down. Everybody's talking about pet milk being evaporated milk. I know that now. I wish somebody would have told me before I talked about milking my dog. 
Everyone grab your nearest coin jar and get ready to hand deliver it to Ben Christmas morning. The heavier, the better. Majorly awesome. What's that? Uh, majorly awesome. Said every... And it says, P.S. Streamlabs is broken, I guess. Everyone grab your nearest coin jar and get ready to hand deliver it to Ben Christmas morning. The it's, heavier, the better. It seems like it's working, though. Oh, it didn't read that one out, so. Yeah, it's being goofy, but that's fine. The, the audience is actually very happy that I'm reading these out, so it's, it's guilty. <laughs> oh, really? I hadn't, I hadn't heard that. Yeah, no, that's what they're I all didn't saying. Know, I didn't realize that. Yeah, they're Nobody all saying what earlier. great contribution I am to this show and how appreciated I should be. That's what they're all saying. Okay. They're all saying that some people should show some a little appreciation this holiday to be on Bill Fridge. Because there's not enough appreciation going around. Gucci gets kicked from restaurant when employees accuse her of doing coke in bathroom. I hear the streamlabs being read now. Yes. The heavier the better. Huh. We need to assemble the liquid army. Do you think she was plan. doing coke? Liquid Skelly, do it. You think she was doing coke in the bathroom? Yeah, do you think she was? Maybe. Who, whose business is it? I mean, it's theirs if it's in their <laughs> place. Fuck you guys. Now everyone thinks I'm doing coke now. But maybe she's I'm not. I'm not fucking coke. Yeah, they oh, called the restaurant and said she was in the bathroom doing coke. Oh, is that what happened? Maybe. I mean, that's dumb. Like, I don't have coke. Do you want to do it separate or together? No, I want to leave. I, I like. I'm, I'm getting accused of shit. Who's the server? Well, I don't know. I'm just doing what my. I want braids in my hair now. Yeah, These like braids look cool as hell. Can I get some wings to go then? We call the man. No, at least I can eat. Yeah. Is this all you getting wings? Is he getting wing blocked? Yeah, this dude just wants wings, and this is just a shit show now. And the waitress, she's just trying to do her job, right? Well, he, if he wanted wings, he shouldn't have brought the fucking camera in. Sorry, you fuck. It's some, if, if you bring a camera into an establishment and it causes a fucking problem, that's on you. Fuck you and your wings if you're going to complain about it. You don't get to have everything at once. You live by the fucking IRL cam. You die by the IRL cam. I'm trying not to like get us like kick her away. Oh come on! What the fuck just happened? Some fucking wings. God damn it! <laughs> Did someone throw a wing at it? You could be assumed yes, or else it fell from the sky. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? So why are these bitches saying that I like they've heard me fucking snoring coke? Why am I getting picked up? I didn't see you. Huh. I just gotta get her out. That's all. Oh, good. You tell me you're fine. Oh, he's like, okay, I don't care then. Yeah, kick her out. <laughs> <laughs> is this uh, AK or whatever? This is Gucci's an AK. fat boyfriend? This is an AK, but uh, I don't know. I think this is the guy that hangs out with them. He okay. might be holding the camera right now, or maybe this—it's this, uh, this guy. Can we eat outside? Can we eat outside? Can you? Sure. Of course. Mike knows everything else. Like we got That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. At least I show up bro. Fuck it. I'm not letting you go. Yeah, that, uh, why, so, yeah, I, why else would they have that idea that she was in there? Either she was or someone called and, and said that she was. I don't know. That's wrong. IRL does that all the time, right? Yeah. yeah. And I don't do shit when there's fucking streams because then you got to deal with shit like this when it's not for Well, this wasn't even a caller. Is Gucci back behind the bar there? So he's just getting kicked out. He just said this wasn't even a caller. Is 
he said he said that it was the the waitress. The waitress. Yeah, because they got a call. She probably had to go in. She went in there. <laughs> nah, what are we gonna do? We're gonna move it outside. Okay. Uh, he said that. Yeah, that's okay. Fucking stream. If you're done with these things, I'll go ahead and get them out of your way. I'm ending it. I'm ending the stream. It's gotten it's gotten between me and my wings. Sorry about that. I don't really know what's happening, so I'm not. No, yeah, she's, she's like, I don't even know what's going on. Now what it is, a lot of viewers on YouTube. So what they did is they popped all the restaurants and they called trying to get us kicked out of places, and they're saying she's trying to open the bathroom or something. Gangster Goo Cheese. Yeah, it is infuriating when you're accused of doing something you didn't do and you know you're right, and, but like people still treat I mean, you it's like. It's your choice to get infuriated, right? Like it's literally. No, I mean, like people don't always choose the emotions that they feel. I don't know if that's. There's, there's a depth accurate. of response, though. These are like nobodies. They're garbage fucking people trying to troll. You put the camera on, you welcome them into your fucking life, and then when they fuck with you, like complaining about it is dumb. Just, just she's opt not, out of the live stream. She's mad at them, not like she's mad at the actual staff of you know the guy kicking her out. Never happened before, and they they swear that it wasn't fucking like. Motherfucker, we chill out here. They said it wasn't called. They said fucking why the fuck fucking like came in there and heard me fucking sniffing. And there was nothing I could say. Yeah, Gucci's could have just been sniffing because she was crying. Are you mad at me? No, I can't do anything. Well, I don't want to be here. So. I'm <laughs> oh shit! Me. Sorry. Hold on. I'll get back to that. That was my bad. Did Leslie Nielsen die today? Has he not been? He's been dead for years. <laughs> right? And there's nothing I could say about it. Are you mad at me? No. I can't do anything. Well, I don't want to be here, so I'm leaving. So goodbye. Are you mad at me? No. I can't do anything. Where's your phone? Is it in there? It's in there. Go to the table. Why don't you just chill here for a second? You got it? I'll take care of it. Yeah, just take a walk, man. Take a walk, man. I'm just trying to get some wings, man. Then don't bring the camera. I'm just trying to get some wings, You're not trying to get some wings. Damn, You're trying to get some content. You got it. Yeah, the other guy is AK. All right. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. Um, yeah, so here's our buddy Spectre huffing and talking about Gucci's. Told me I saw your mother. <laughs> God damn it. He says he's looking skinny. You're not messing with that stuff again, is you? Anthony, you look at me, boy. You look at me. You go get something to eat. Hey, your locker is unopened. No, I know that sound anywhere. Dude, you got to close your locker. This is probably the closest to David Lynch that we get in the IRL your, community, right? Your locker is unopened. Dude, you got to close your locker. Hmm. Okay. Dude. Tony, bro. Oh, uh, whatever. You hear that? That guy's fucking, uh, that guy's fucking bed, his fucking toolbox bed. One of the fucking doors was like, like, any more cologne? Oh, I still got my, my interesting uh, segue right there. It's a compilation. Yeah. 
that's not What's your you favorite BMX You're not supposed part. to actually <laughs> snort it up your nose. No, when you're that you're supposed to... when you're that fucking grody to the bone, you snort cologne. That's what the kids say. When I'll you're grody to the bone, snort cologne. You fucking huffers. You know, like I've forgiven Alicia for rejecting me in high school. I forgave her a long time ago, to be honest, because it's high school, dude. You know what I'm saying? She had no idea you were going to be a YouTube bad boy. <laughs> yeah, these two would be a great team up. Let's see if we can get Spectre to come out to fucking Cobra Con. Yeah. Actually, can we just get $1 million to make a buddy comedy? With Spectre and fucking King Cubs. That'd be so good. Favorite BMX bike. I heard it was Huffy. <laughs> is he doing a bit? Is he just uh, doing well, wait, a bit? Wait, is, you know, uh, I'm not convinced Gucci's isn't a major nitrous distributor. I think that would explain all the things with, like, where the hell she gets her money and why she's like this and why there's a nitrous brand named after her. What? Nitrous Deep State, man. Uh, I'm considering becoming a nitrous distributor. <laughs> oh, you're, you'll get high off your own supply. Doesn't Amazon deliver this shit? Nitrous oxide? Does it not? I don't know. It's just duster, it's, right? It's like a barbiturate. Oh, is it actual nitrous? Yeah, I think it's actual G-hold, nitrous. No, I mean, some people like ketamine. It's like cat, cat, it's all like cat, though. Boom, fix soul. This is good evening, Billy and Ben. This is mission to inform you that you've been reported directly to the Twitter police for your repeated doxing. You will be receiving a visit from... A t- uh, bitch. These long ones, guys, they get me. You will be receiving a visit from Agent Elon shortly. Have fun in internet jail, you fat Australian losers. Thick soul, I would believe you. I would believe you if that was uh, the goal that hit $666.66. It's almost cents. there, though, 75%. But that, that, that didn't even hit the $666.66 mark, Thick soul. Thank oh, you for your support. Also, and guys, if accept- you're at all interested in sending us some mail for the holiday season our uh we we have a mailing address you can send us stuff to oh shit boom was that yeah that was the audio coming in later billy and ben this donation it's a little less delayed been reported directly to the twitter police for your repeated doxing you will be receiving a visit from agent elon shortly there's another one fun in internet jail you fat Australian losers. Dick. Rattler Poop Alcarez says poop poop gang. But yeah, um here's uh here's our address if you want to send us anything. The Drunken Peasants, one one zero zero Bellevue Way, Northeast, Suite eight A, number four twenty two, Bellevue, Washington, nine eight zero zero four. You can send us we'll open it on the show. Yeah, but honestly, the holidays are almost here. The mailing sucks right now. If we don't get it on time, we'll open it later. Use this Use this to send us, like, wait until after Christmas. It's going to be quicker shipping, probably. Going to get here easier. And then it will come in time for the Drunken Peasants' ninth birthday. Ninth birthday, guys, in the beginning of January. That's nine years Ben's been doing this show. I've been doing it just a little bit longer. Send it for the birthday party. You can send it whenever you want. It would just... It, Shipping in Christmas time sucks. I like how I do something and you just like negate it and like, don't do it, guys. It's, <laughs> it's literally how psychology works. What do you mean how psychology it's works? It's reverse psychology. Oh, my God. I, I don't know. I, I don't, do. I'm manipulating our fan base. Now we're going to get double the presents. You they're don't gonna, have they're to gonna do that. They're going to send us birthday presents. They're going to send us birthday presents with Christmas gifts in them. It's literally... I'm I'm... Deep fucking our fans, mind fucking them all to send us stuff. I'm not sure if that's necessary. Kill- oh, it is. Killer Beehive says, I know how y- you about the punching bag game, Billy. I played at a party tonight and only got a 10. Thank you, Killer Beehive. Things fucking rigged. Thank you. The fucking CIA. Bob Husky says, take it easy on us, UPS saps. Right? 
I definitely covered an amazing version of Pull Back the Bolt one night on, on, on Ketamine. And I met Blade for the first time. And Orange was there. And, and, um, dude. And Orange was there. And, uh, so that's when I re met Rebecca. And, um, and, uh, Brian, uh, Blade for the first time. And freaking, um, who is that? Kermit? Yeah, freaking Kermit was there. Dude, that was like... Elisa's dead dog? Kermit? I, then I was crazy, and the fucking... Uh, the feds were on me all night. I tried to do the fucking corn maze, but, uh, dude, that night was fucking nuts. CIA got me to take fucking ketamine. That shit was insane. I mean, like, I... The CIA got him to take ketamine. Had nothing to do with the fact that he's pumping his body full of duster and fucking nitrous all the time. Because the CIA was like, hey, here's some cats. Go in. I don't know. I, um, but y you know that, um, you know that character that, um, uh, you know that character that, um, Kevin Spacey played in, uh, The Men Who Stare at Goats? Was he in that? That's Corn Pops. Corn Pops? Like Joe Biden's old buddy? Yeah, Corn Pop, like that guy that Kevin Spacey played, like that character that there's like, that there is a real life person Larry who was Hooper. that guy who fucking snuck into a spoon bending party. We're like, y'all seen Corn Pops. Do you think he fucking what? bent a spoon with his mind or do you think he just like bent a spoon really quick? Sounds like Uri Geller. With his hand while no one was looking. Like, he watched people bend spoons with their minds, but dude was just like, <laughs> clonk, like real quick, dude. But, um, yeah, whatever CIA person did this to me, probably, or whichever government, I guess FEMA has a bunch of shit involved with that now. My new stare at goats is for real. That, that shit's for real. And, like, I saw that, I saw that movie the first time, like, that, that Kevin Spacey, I'm like, Dad, you was in a movie. <laughs> FEMA, NSA, CIA, Ron Popeil. Yeah, he was Italian. <laughs> How are we going to stop them? They've got guns. We're Jedi. We don't fight with guns. We fight with our minds. Whoa. Holy. Whoever edited this, they're all over the place. Yes. Like... He worked for Ronco. He worked for Ronco. So, like, as far as the private sector and the public sector, both of my parents were fucking MK Ultra. So, <laughs> then both, you know. A, Why is it always Italian, the children well, of MK I mean, Ultra that turn to Italian. crazy drugs? Because they're not really children of MK Ultra, and the crazy drugs make them think they are. That's what they I want mean, you to yeah, think. Totally tight. You know what I mean, Orange? You know, MK Ultra. Who are they? The government, you know CIA, I mean. mind control. Uh, anyway. Who are they? <laughs> the government, yeah. CIA, mind control. But who's uh, that? I like balsamic vinegar. Well, I just said. Let's get some bread. Let's you go get some bread, money. guys. You eat any bread today? How much bread have you eaten? Oh God. <laughs> How much bread? I just have invented you? something evil. Yeah, that is a tank of nitrous. How the fuck did he get that? Well, you get nitrous oh, from yeah, that's like, cars, right? Super crazy. Isn't that so the, the NOS? Some Isn't that what, or, some... or do they, I, I think that's different. Something different? Yeah, I... I don't know that much about it to know for sure. That was inhaled through it a second ago. Dentists, yeah, yeah. They give it to they like when they do dental surgery and shit. It's like the old school like laughing gas. Oh. I remember uh, there was like this festival. Uh, like like a festival I used to go to in Ohio, like a music festival, and people would be doing nitrous at at those. I've never oh. tried it. That's a buzz. Whipped, whipped shot. You can't huff nos nos for a car. It's a new invention I call whipped shards. Whip ties. Whipped shards. Whipped shards. Anyone? <laughs> Could be nitrogen used for tools, says right, Bubba Husky. Combine it with nitrous. <laughs> what does it say on it? I, I just... 
That's what it is. <laughs> Guys. Now, dude. Okay, so. Brittany's Balky is questioning if it has a balloon nozzle on it. The nozzle is calibrating. We Hawkeye says a tank like that is about 60 bucks. And get this, they come in flavors. <laughs> That's one King Cobra pizza. Strap the speaker to the roof of the van and make announcements. <laughs> No, that seems like it's going to attract lots of attention. I'm not the Blues Brothers. That'll just get me pulled over with, like, you know, two nitrous tanks in the car. That's insanity. Um, <laughs> um, Honest like, Red says they like, sell cans of nitrous at the work. smoke shops. Um, at least where he lives. I don't... Yeah. Ruby Jewels asks if nitrous is addictive or any good. It's terrible stuff. Don't do this. Stop it. Nobody, nobody asking We're online gonna, if nitrous is good should be doing people nitrous. People think the pumps are running slower. Hold on, we're gonna, we're still gonna do that. The PC memes, IP2 News Network, where I, where news always wins. No oh, fuck. I whip. It's not a good invention. He was like almost throwing up. Oh shit. Brainy is about to says he knew a girl who died doing oh, nitrous. Fuck yeah. See fuck guys. Could die. See yeah. guys. It's fun but not worth it, says to hell with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Cobra, all fired up. It's an anesthetic. It should only really be administered by it's someone who's trained in it. I wonder if he's been doing online dates or something, because his hair seems to be fairly, unless it's all from the same day, I, seems to be fairly more uh, groomed. I would be almost 100% sure that he's not doing dates. Online dates. Like he's talking to a girl on Skype, and she's like, you look so cute when you fucking wash your hair like that. I can almost guarantee that's not happening. Well, thank you for your guarantee. Jared! What up, YouTube? So, happy holidays. Your boy Cobra delivered on his promise. I got the album done. I got it sent off to Deathbed Tapes. We're getting it King. finalized as we speak. I did get a beer to celebrate. I had <laughs> to celebrate. two beers of this can size earlier and that's it. So this this would be like my third beer today. Nice. I was diagnosed with Asperger's by a professional at the age of 13 and prior Those are 24 ounce beers, so it's like he's on a fourth can of a six pack. Yeah. To that of a sicko pack. It was never even heard of. But these are all just labels they give us you know what I'm saying, YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. $10 in Cash App. Fucking swing. Swing. <laughs> For the chat is off. Oh, wham. I turned the chat off so I could. His focus. eyes. Just, I just watched his eyes move independently of one another. It's so it's crazy. It's the goddamn video. It's, he's like it. a chameleon. And you have to deal with fucking stupid comments. But yeah, Kanye West is uh, claiming that he is autistic, that he was falsely diagnosed, that he's not schizophrenic, he is autistic. If he is he's genuinely artistic. autistic and he just discovered it, then welcome, brother, because I know how it is. Autism welcome, brother. sucks. <laughs> mm. Autism sucks. Mm. Is he looking at porn now? It's cool to be artistic. Fuck yeah, I appreciate that. Holy fuck balls. 21 bucks. Now we're talking. Now we're Look at cooking. that. Good looking. <laughs> Cobes on a roll. People who call me an e-beggar are just fucking jealous. They don't have the success your boy Cobra has. Fact. But now we live in a society where men want to be pampered for a change. And me personally, I'm not that hard to please. You fetch my pipe, my slippers, and a beer, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not that hard to please. <laughs> Fetch my pipe, my slippers, and a beer. And call for my Fiddler's 3. I, I, there's so much better that a woman could do for you than fetching a pipe 
and your slippers? slippers? He doesn't even wear slippers, right? Like, we does see he even have slippers? Out? Like, maybe he does have slippers, and, I, they, and they need to be thrown away. Yeah, because <laughs> they have athletes' foot fungus all over them. He doesn't have slippers. Fetch my he just, pipe and my slippers. He's heard this stereotype before, so he's, like, trying to pass himself off. It's a traditional off. idea. Right. He's, 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 he's probably just, you know... Saying it as as a catchphrase, Egghead Show says, and "This is the guy Jared was concerned about." Yeah, Cobes is going to be fine. Of course, Cobes will be fine. But I, I I think my guy would have better uses for a woman than fetching your slippers and your your robe and your petticoat and your fucking pipe and your your hashish and your hookah. Uh-huh. You send me a bouquet of Bud Light bottles. Now we're talking twenty one and up. Not a sponsor. Most women in their 40s have a hard time producing. I would rather drink Pabst Blue Ribbon than Bud Light. And that's like, that's not an expensive beer. It's just Bud Light is so gross. Why not just drink normal Budweiser, if anything? Buy the light one. It's Budweiser is light enough. It's funny that Budweiser has a light beer when it's already a super watered down beer anyway. Utility and all that kind of thing. Whereas men will lose the ability to get hard when they're like 60 or 70 plus years old. So men have a longer window of opportunity when it comes to fertility. And here's the bitch of it. If a man loses the ability to get hard, they have all these boner pills you can take. So he doesn't lose his erections. Us men are expected to do shit too. Like build a house, grow facial hair, her, 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 grunt and scratch our nuts, build a log cabin, work on a goddamn car. If I can't fix a car, build a house, the guy Jared grow. was concerned about. Yeah, Cobes is gonna be fine. Thank you, Ghost of Eggheads Dono. Facial hair, grow muscles. If I can't hide my emotions and suck it up and quit being a pussy about it, I'm seen as a beta bitch male for it, and I'm sick of it, dude. So, remember when my hernias used to come around? Yeah, they used to donate. What the fuck I mi- happened? I miss. Well, they died. I remember the ghosts used to donate too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whatever happened to the ghosts? Yeah. You are preaching to the choir, honey. Men should be able to cook too. Uh, if you watch King Cobra JFS, you know what's up. Hey, babe, how was your day? Oh, geez. And then, of course, if your woman's having a bad day or her monthly visitor, you're going to hear about it. Here's the thing of it, dude. If I'm dating a chick, I don't give a fuck if she's a virgin. You're not. As you don't have to worry about it. Of age, alive, cisgendered, non related, STI free, consenting. Is there another one? Well, the STI free like, is new. hot. Yeah. And, and stupid and hot. human. And okay, human. if your man doesn't want to pick he up added his STI fucking underwear. free and stupid hot to the list. And human? Well, that was human was always on there, right? Isn't that assumed? Like so many of these are assumed. <sighs> Just remember, fellas, anything. He's going to end up listing. Eventually, he'll list literally everything he won't have sex with, like every trait. Thing a man can do, a woman can sometimes do better. If your girlfriend left her used tampons all over the floor and left little plastic bags and didn't bother picking them up and just let it stink up the place, you'd be a little grossed out. You'd be like, honey, uh, nothing wrong with having a period, but could you pick up your uh, your, your feminine products? If you can make a homemade cheesecake that'll make... If If you got a woman who's just dropping fucking blood pads around the house... That's that's you. You got you got to make sure you don't accept that sort of behavior in your life. If you if you've gone that far as to accept a little fucking uh Hansel and Gretel period piece, like that that's your fault. I I don't understand how did you get to that point and not be into it. Like you, you, you can't just accept the fact that you are so desperate you're going to take a dirty girl in then expect her to change. Fuck sickos. Her squirt in her pants. Hey! 
And here's what I'm telling you right now. If you get rejected on the dating scene, you got to be like, Marlboro, next, and you move on. You fucking move on. Not a sponsor. You not let that person, that's what they want. <clears throat> People are just as miserable as you are on the dating scene. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm like, I'm not that picky if your boobs are big enough to... Jigarath, in quotes, said, blame yourself. Yes, actually, if you blame don't have yourself. A job, blame yourself. Blame yourself. It's a hundred percent. Like a lot of people will say that if you're in a cult, they'll say, "Blame yourself." Like you can, they'll push this idea that you can't have a victim mentality or you become yeah. a victim. And and if they're victimizing you by saying you can't have a victim mentality, and then they're victimizing you and you stick with it, you're actually buying into the bullshit. But if you actually say, okay, um, I'm not going to put up with this shit and you leave, that's the mentality to have. Don't be a victim. Don't don't be a victim. <clears throat> it, it, blame yourself is the 100% best thing you could do if you're going to also fix it yourself. Give yourself the power to blame yourself and then change yourself. That's true. Play with? Ah. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to be big enough to titty fuck, but if they're big big enough to play with, I'm happy as shit. Well, I don't gotta bring anything to the table because I'm King Cobra JFS. I have muscles, facial hair, and a huge dick. I can play guitar and I can <laughs> sing. That should be good enough. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, I'm not the richest guy on the planet, but I have ambitions. I want to build my clock towered mansion. Yeah. You know? I want my music to take off, like big time take off, you know? I support trans LGBTQ plus rights. Fuck sickos. How, how good would a I theme also... park called Kiwi Farms be? And you just have like a lol cow <laughs> attraction? Like we could have like a ride that is Cobra's Tower, and we could offer Cobra to come live in the tower rent free. He can come down Quasimodo mode, boggle him around all he wants. We'll feed him corn dogs and shit. He'll have a great time. He's just got to like. Be in the clock tower every once in a while. I mean, this is a good idea. Support women's rights. Because Chatterbait rhymes with masturbate. I'd eat that fucking shit pussy out like it was no Gee, what a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, this fat... Cobra, you got to stop bragging about eating things. We've, we've seen your menu. His eating is awful. If, if you could be a sexy goth bad boy, but comparing a girl's... Vagina to what you do cook it might be part of the turnoff. Might be a reason you're in the dry spell. I'm not sure. Tongue is beast at doing that, by the way. Ah. Beside the point, if you have to drink to make her pretty, you don't want to wake up next to a Chewbacca in the morning. Oh my god, that was amazing last night. Oh jeez. Ah. There's a reason why whiskey dick exists, because if you have to drink to make her look pretty, even your dick's just like, no, we're not doing this. That's not how whiskey dick works. We're not doing the walk of shame. We're not going to wake up in her fucking apartment. Isn't whiskey dick not being able to get an erection? Yeah, because you're so drunk. That's what he's saying. It is how it works. But he's saying like... He's saying if you get so drunk that you, if you get drunk so that she gets more acceptable that, for you to view and date, but then there's a reason why your dick should also not work. But that's the part that didn't make sense to me. He's putting two and two together. It's 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 it was, it was he used it correctly. It was math. That didn't make any sense to me. He had, ow, where the fuck am I? Holy shit! That is one hairy woman. Oh, oh, oh God! You could play connect the dots with all the moles on her back. Good lordy. I feel this something is in the bubble prime in Cobra comedy right now. I think he's wrong, though. You should love waking up next to Chewbacca. It's a nice fucking cuddly pet maybe, to play with. Maybe, maybe it's a wet and juicy. Hold on one second. Oh, no. That was weak shit. No, that was not and then he puts that phone next to his face. Not after worthy he of a wet and juicy. It. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. You know how you can tell a woman's had a good blowjob? Huh. When she squirts all over the fucking bed, and you gotta throw the sheets in the fucking wash. Is that what <laughs> happens? Nobody won the argument. Bye. Where the fuck are you going? Yeah, me and Chad are going to the bar to have a couple beers. Let you kind of stew over in your own bullshit. 
<laughs> he's like role playing having a fight with his non existent significant it's, other. It's great. This is five years of dry spell fights all coming out in like one hour on his fifth <laughs> on his fifth Bud Light. F- four, five cans into a six pack. And when you're ready to apologize and suck my dick, we can have a conversation about this. You two get into an argument. She screams, fuck you, you're an asshole. You scream back at her, fuck you, you're a fucking bitch. This is so this weird. Is the, this is the Cobra dating simulator. This is exactly what it would be like to be in a relationship with King Cobra. I don't think he's doing himself any favors. He went from all I need is a is a, is my pipe, my slippers, and and a a beer. To this is going to be the back and forth abuse that we go through after after a month of me not getting my fucking pipe, bitch. And then you just kind of cuss each other out, and then you leave it at that. Sometimes that's healthy. I'm sure you might not hook up for a couple days. That's why <laughs> masturbation is king, Andrew Dice Clay. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, the Someone in the chat compared him to Sam Kinison. And I was thinking in my head, is this Kinison or is this Clay? He's the Dice And man. Cobes was going on the Clay, the clay mobile. <sighs> He's Clay face on him. I like it. I like it. For her... You take her fur coat, stick your tongue up her ass. Even when she is being a complete <laughs> are you really going to fall for that? You know what I'm saying? Because that is like the oldest tactic in the book that women use to win the arguments. You know? Like, she's losing the fucking argument, so you call her a <laughs> she's being one, and uh, huh. she calls you a pig fucking asshole. Now you're sleeping on the fucking couch going, eh, hey, what's going on with Chatterbait Connor? Just being single. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> this chick's four times harder than what I got right now. Fuck me. Yeah, we're doing this. But it really. Four times hotter than what you got oh, right man. now? Well, Which is nothing. So, like, zero times four is still zero. Even it doesn't assuming, matter. Even assuming he had a girlfriend, right? Assuming he had a, a nice, warm body. To hug and hold four times hotter is all it takes for you to want to jerk off over crawling into bed with a with a a, a, a warm human that you have love and respect for. I, I think I think it's I think at that point if you're on Chatterbait, it's got to be like a girl who has been akin to like one of your earliest fantasies. That's like it's it's got to be something that dates back to like like a, a fantasy fulfillment mode for me to even want to jerk off to a chatterbait. Like if if I've got a body uh, of a human being I care for waiting for me in the other room, it's gonna take way more than four times hot for me to want to jerk off to a pay site. Well, jack off the last time him and his woman had sex. If you and your woman are fighting and she cuts you off from sex, a real man. If he has, he's stuck on Chatterbait because he doesn't want to watch porn with like dicks in it and stuff. I guess he could watch porn like lesbian porn or something, but he has like a thing about he like he won't watch porn with dicks in it. I only watch porn with dicks in it, but this is the racist part about it. I prefer the dicks to be the tone of flesh that I have, so I can pretend they're my dick. Right? Heard- I don't want to be taken out of the element mm-hmm. by a dick that's like off base i need it to i need to like have me reasonably believe because i can't see my penis anyways right i I got a big gut there so it doesn't matter if it's like a huge fucking skinny one i just assume that's what my dick looks like but when it's off color you know i got this big belly there that's what throws me off to be a wanker and wank one off will jack off for the last time him and his woman had sex he does not need another woman Unless he's pissed off at her and he's just like inside his male brain. He's like, I'll show this bitch. I'll fucking jack off to another chick. Yeah, see how she likes that. Yeah, I'm fucking, uh. And what you need to do is stop thinking with your dick and start thinking with your mind. Women do it too. They think with their not with their actual mind. Women and it, stick with their dicks? Mm-hmm. Or would you say pussies? Probably. Uh, that, that, the, the, the beep fucked me up. Lord. Somebody who's cheated. No, Step McCugs, I'm a racist because I choose not to jerk off to a black man's penis. Doesn't mean I can't jerk off to a black man's penis. It means in a world where there's more porn than you could ever watch, there should be some standards you adhere to. 
I'm not going to go and I'm not going to watch a porno of a dick that I can't mildly identify with. And I'm not going to watch a porno with the guy's face in it. It's always POV. It's always point of view, a penis. I barely ever make it past the blowjob of a porno because I'm just at the beginning of the video. I'm five minutes in. I'm like, okay, I'm done. Go take a shower now because I obviously am going to finish on my own stomach. Thank you. Going to let it dry there. Once, have some porn flakes. One time I cheated off in on the shower. relationship. I've regretted it ever since. You know, and that was years ago. I've moved on from Stephanie, but she clearly hasn't moved on from me. Otherwise, she wouldn't be sitting. <laughs> <laughs> four years ago? Did he say four years ago? Yeah, listen to what he says here. It's <clears throat> on her goddamn YouTube channel with her black boyfriend going. With her black boyfriend. Oh, my God. Now my I immediately people. regret my commentary on porn. Uh which I still think has some validity to it, but knowing the comments that were made shortly after, yep. I don't condone what I or Cobra said in this element. What <laughs> I or Cobra Shit. said. Uh, but now when I saw Stephanie being racist towards her black boyfriend, I was like, no. Nah. What? <laughs> racist towards her black boyfriend? I, no one else is saying this but Cobra. How, how was this a thing? Do, do, is he going to reference it? No. Uh, Bustillo in the chat says, Billy, try a hands-free sesh. It's hard but attainable with some good kush. I don't smoke weed, and I do hands-free sessions all the time. That's what the girl's for, Bustillo. Uh, I'm done. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Bye-bye. Block. And that's all I'm going to say on her. I have a legion of fangirls four times harder than Stephanie. I'm just saying. <laughs> Where are they? Not that picky. You know... She's got two legs and a vagina, and she's of age. They'll probably fuck it. As a dude who's been so there, there you go. So he'll he'll make it happen one way or another. I just need all these ladies in the audience. If you feel like Cobes won't have sex with you, I I do believe he will. Okay, don't don't get caught feeling bad down on yourself just because he has all these added hurdles to jump if you happen to be unalive if you happen to be non-human unalive. if you happen to be his cousin you know there's still a holdout we we happen to have many unalive viewers if you're not four so times happen. hotter Reject. than the chatterbait or four if you're not <sighs> by every chick i've liked and some of these women were not nice about rejecting me they often called me a creep or a loser and i wasn't trying to be creepy it's just when you have Asperger's and you have that serious face like I do, it's called resting creep face. <laughs> <laughs> he thing, is on in rare form tonight. I like this yeah. coke. He said, if you want to smell sexy for the ladies, you got to check out Tactical Soap. Because a Tactical Soap gentleman rocks the soap and he waits patiently. That's been my goal. That's been my tactics. And it works. Rudolph, thank you for your one dollar donation. To shout out to Rudolph Hess and Himmer, Him and Air. Oh my God! Bow. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Shout outs. I like how they make the that a fail out there. They I guess it's some fucking obscure Nazi that don't use the name for a dono. That's like that's not a whoops or a fail. It's just Cobra reading a name. I, I, it's, it, it's, it's a funny joke, I guess. Congratulations to the trolls that donated money under a Nazi's name. A good one, guys. Sure. Hawkeye says obscure Nazi. He was head of... Uh, I can't read the rest. The Nazi party. The Nazi party. Yeah, that's an obscure Nazi. There's two Nazis, okay? There's two Nazis. There's Hitler and there's anybody the left hates. Well, there was Himmler. Those are all obscure. They're not obscure. The only the only unobscure Nazis are Hitler and whoever the left hates. Your your generosity. Jaboni, what the fuck? I don't even know right now. But thank you for your one penny donation. Appreciate it. <laughs> Good guy. Anyways, Cobes. YouTube. I'll catch you, cool cobras later. Deuce. Cobra, Cobra, acknowledging the penny for your thoughts. What a sweet boy. From the clock tower. From
from the tower of power too sweet to be sour funky like a monkey frank and piggy says uh mangly was pretty bad they're all pretty bad but they're all obscure other than hitler and insert any person the left hates nick fuentes kanye all of them they're 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 the not obscure ones himmler definitely wasn't obscure I, People even talk about how it was kind of weird how similar his name was to Hitler. He was he was like high ranking Nazi. I th- I thought that Himmler was just uh, Hitler's pronouns. No, he no. Himmler. I thought Hitler's pronouns weren't they Heil Himmler? <laughs> no. Oh, Waka Waka Waka. <laughs> um. Let's see what this is. Like. <laughs> He's sleeping in a in a dark alley. What up? What up? It's the weekend tubes. Let's get a tip train going, guys. Help us out with the tip train. We're seventy eight percent. It it always gets to six sixty six. Shout out it to always Nicholas. Gets to 800. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your two dollar donation to Cash App. So please do a Friday night stream. That's kind of what I'm doing, Nicholas. Thank you for your <laughs> your donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> How long has he worn this Aussie shirt? It's been a good yes. run. Yes. It's the weekend, I, and if you kind of sh- feels like it, he washes it though. Like the thing with Jared is he'll wear a shirt for three weeks and you'll see the nastiness accrue. You the, don't see the nastiness accrue on King Cobra's well, clothes. Most of his clothes are black for one thing, so it's a little more difficult. But I'll say I don't think I don't know if Cobra has access to a washer and dryer without going to a laundromat. You don't think so? I not in his unit here. I don't think there's room for one. I, I who knows. Uh, I, I lived I, in a lot of small apartments. That, that Goose had... juice says Billy. I did as I was told and took them all out. Now let my family go. No, you give us more money and then you can have you can have your family back when we hit the goal. That's fair. He wore it for two weeks, then changed for a day, then wore it again for another two weeks. But you can tell those clothes aren't miserably dirty. He's got the sleeves rolled up. He's, he's like Jared. You saw the nastiness. You saw the the collars getting cut off and and stinking up. Black, like as 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 you say, it's like black, so it doesn't get dirty as easily. You could see it like, gets crust. dirty as easily, but not as you could see crust visible. and grind build up on a fucking Shout black out shirt. To donate to Cobra. It's not e begging when you get a business exchange. I appreciate the money y'all donate to me, especially on the weekend. It's like, oh, it's the weekend. Are you going to get wasted with the Cobra? (laughs) I'm feeling a little swifty at the moment, but other than that. So you don't have to donate, but if you do... Do you think Coes would get the shakes if he quit drinking for three weeks? I don't know. He's there are people without drinking like before, right? Didn't shit. hit the, I the I don't shakes even that need I them can control my For how long, though? That's the question. Well, I mean, he's he's not drank for a couple, at days. least a week, right? Like, hasn't there been dry periods? Like, I, I'm not the big Cobra fan. Yeah, we'll have to ask Hawkeye. I trust what he says about Cobra more than most people because he actually watches. Hawkeye is biased and also hates Lady Gaga, so. I don't trust. I don't think so. I think he actually watches it. Has Cobra only a few days at a time? That's what I thought. Who said that? Hawkeye. Hmm. Billy. I did as I was told and took them all out. Now let my family go. Oh, I told you you could have them back. What was that? That was the ghost. This been happening all night. Just, just take the meanie messages, take their money, and roll with it. You know. So every little sense appreciated you to. Uh, can't say I'm complaining. Uh, I got some friends who are going through some personal issues, so I bought them a bottle of pink champagne to help them deal with their grief. Oh, but I'm no. not going to say too much more or anything else on that subject because it's none of y'all's business. Sweet boy, Cobra. Shout out to Woody Allen. 
That's what's up. Woody <laughs> Allen is a diddler. Christmas can be a lot harder for different people with, for different reasons, YouTube. I'm not going to watch videos. going to focus on hanging out with the fans for at least a good solid hour. Nice. Fan meet up at Cobra's cash Spring. cash in my cash app. Oh, shit. You don't have to donate, but it's appreciated when you do. Yeah, James he always says with that. The five dollar donations for tactical. That's the difference between us and King Cobra. Spark. We demand you guys donate to us, and we don't appreciate it. But you keep doing it. You're enabling our tyranny, and we respect that tyranny. We don't appreciate it, but we respect that. So continue, throw money our way. I want my name up there with uh, what was the guy's name? Hess. I just want to. I want to not because I'm being a Nazi. I just want a Wikipedia page. So keep donating until I can get my Wikipedia page set up. Cool. Well, isn't that special, James? I'm glad. Tactical soap is what's up. And this is the soap that will get, get you feeling like a rock star. You know, the, the, they want to brag about wearing tactical soap because with my history with women, tactical soap is a testimony. I haven't had the best luck with women, and it sucks. It's depressing. Oh, see now. Did, did he just say well, my history with women is is a testimony to tactical soap? But then he's like, it's depressing because he hasn't had sex with a woman since <clears throat> he started using tactical soap. Yeah, maybe tactical soap is part of the problem. Like, maybe maybe we stop. Well, I don't know. Maybe he starts using the soap enough that he looks like he's clean all the time. That might help going out into the world more often. The more he's had his online success uh, gives him more reason. Well, also he's been getting kicked out of places. But it gives him more reasons to stay inside and drink. And you're not going to meet people when you're constantly turning off your chat because people are trolling you. Like you meet somebody by going out and living a little. That's He needs to live more. He needs to go out on the town. He needs to live more. It makes me self-conscious about my Asperger's, but when I wear a tactical soap, it all goes away. Tactical all soap is his up. courage. That's pretty sweet. I think it would be all the liquid courage What if drinks, it, but... Yeah, yeah. I don't care if I'm... I'm starting to think the tactical soap is holding him back, and he should get you on You know, this. like, I don't care if I'm autistic or what have you. I don't care. Well, Customizegirl.com for buy that King Cobra merch, because it keeps your boy... You know, fed drink combos. Yeah. Drink combos. All I'll be the plugging way. that tactical sub link one more time, you two. That is most definitely what's Now, up. for the holidays, this makes a great stocking stuffer because <laughs> you don't got to be a King Cobra fan <laughs> to I love the term smell stocking good for the stuffer. Age ladies. This is a basic human need. Now, I got come a, a on. sweet you want stocking a last coat? night. It was full of uh, reindeer meat snacks, and each there was like nine meat snacks. Each one was named off after one of Santa's reindeer. They had, it was made out of reindeer. Yeah, it was reindeer That's meat so snacks. That's so fucked up. And each one was named after uh, like Donner you're eating, Blitzen. You're eating Santa's. Yeah, reindeer. they had everyone, even Rudolph. That was the coolest shit. It's a great way to traumatize a child, you know. Jean jacket, come on, YouTube. You get this fucker in black. It's fucking beautiful. Cam for the one sixty nine dollar donation for I got with you got with your boyfriend because he used tactical soap. That's what I love. There you go. Love to hear Cam. There you go. Did you hear that, folks? Tactical soap helped Cam find. A steady, strong, of age, and gentleman, hopefully. Because <laughs> that's how it goes. If you're a tactical soap gentleman, rock that soap. Wait, patient. <coughs> Excuse yeah. me. Wait patiently. Mm. Holy buck fuck. That's a lot of fucking money. Dude, $12 in my cash app. Yeah, I want to hit the cash out on that. Why ain't DP pushing tactical soap? Uh, one, we don't have a link. Okay. I could easily get one. If we got a link, we'd do it. But two, our fans are either too dirty to fuck, and that includes using soap, they won't do it, or they're already fucking, 
and they don't need tactical soap. There's no in between here. Like if we put a Venn diagram, it would look like two big old separated titties. Oh yeah, no dude. cleave. That's most definitely what the fuck is up, tubes. Like I'm blown away by all the generosity that I've been receiving. What a sweet boy. So like I do genuinely appreciate it. <laughs> Jack Nicholson in the chat, thank you. Uh, the Grandma's Revenge Reindeer Meats is what it's called. Jack Nicholson in the chat sent them uh, over. That's really fucking cool. Everybody should buy those. We need a link to those next Christmas so we could sell the Grandma's Revenge Reindeer Meat Sticks and get all the sweet ad revenue. The Grandma's Revenge. Liquid yeah, I remember Ske- when that, that song was crazy popular. Liquid Skelly, I gave two options, okay? Nasty and clean. You chose to put yourself. And actually, no, if you're not having sex, I pretty much put you in the nasty zone, didn't I? Sorry about that. I owe you an apology. Whether or not I'm right or wrong, I owe you an apology. Towards some weekend fun, I think. <laughs> Try something different that we haven't tried before. Excellent is what I say, YouTube. It is the weekend. Uh-huh. So let us... Cobes loves the weekend. And weekend and the week fun. days. Also. Yeah, when you don't have a day job, every day is the weekend. Yes. Yep. Indulge, I say. 33 bucks. That. Well, the $12 I'm getting inside. from, uh, yeah, all enough for that. I seen a wine I've been wanting to try from this beautiful selection. Let's try another view. Here we go. I don't know. It, it. We need to eventually get two more people in on this. Yeah, I think that there is a pretty... Like, if we had a split... May, maybe maybe have something across the bottom here. Like, like a what? bar across the bottom so the two cameras below us are a little more off to the side. Like, we, you know how we have the regular bar? We could put that there across the bottom, flat across, and then the two smaller cameras below us, will, they'll be a little smaller, but they won't be overlapped because the way these overlap, uh, they're going to be covering maybe, maybe the people will fit just fine. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's the like, same size as usual. Yeah, but the, the, the area on the screen that gets taken up is an upper quadrant, whereas here, the cover-up yeah. on our videos are lower quadrant. And honestly, most of the time... It can be adjusted. That's why I made it in several different parts so it can be changed if it needs to be. Uh, like, I can take the, the Discord chat away. I, th- I think making the two videos below us slightly smaller and maybe dropping a line below would make this work pretty good. Or if we figure out a way to make the video, Cope video bigger. But I like the the toying with this and getting it there. There's yeah. obviously uh, a lot of work to be done, um, but it's a good direction. Everybody watching right now that appreciates the new direction, uh, show us your your new direction. And I made sure the Streamlabs alerts were were on this screen as well. That's important. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. That's. Right. I'll go back to you Coles. know. And. Uh, I'll have it. I can always try it later. It doesn't matter. Fan chat for fourth peasant. Wouldn't you guys like that? You attention whores. You know how like sometimes we have the uh, the oddball like on the side. I have I have it set up for the oddball scenario also. Well, there you go. Yeah, because sometimes we get that other person. Every you know? once in a while. Yeah, so that's set up also. Bottles of Bud Light. Magnificent. Cool. Restock my alcohol and just start the money head back box. into my account. That'll do just God. nicely. I'm going to give them a two dollar tip though because holidays are tough and every little penny counts 
Hey, Copes, my friends and I are having a discussion about where a G-spot is <laughs> on a woman. And I think both of us don't actually understand what it Please is. Please don't describe this. Okay, here's the thing of it. A woman knows best. A woman knows her body better than any man does. But if you stick your finger into a oh woman's vagina to finger her... You got a, that little tiny rough patch of skin, very tiny rough patch of skin. Feels kind of like a walnut shell or a golf ball, you know, that similar texture kind of thing. That's her sweet spot right there. That's where the G spot is. I've ne never been wrong on it because I've never heard woman that I've been with that are of age and everything complaining. <laughs> they are of age and everything. They're of age and everything. So, so yeah, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, where did, finger, oh, where so did the complaints come from? If the uh, of age people weren't complaining, are you saying that there were complaints? Sicko. Are you saying there were complaints? You fucking sicko. You know, Ben, there's a place you can touch a woman that will drive her completely crazy? Her heart. <laughs> What movie was that? Milk Money. Okay. <laughs> and Melanie Griffith, Ed Harris. With your where, it's the best movie because it's all about kids getting money, like their milk money together, to buy a prostitute to look at her boobs. And the reason that this prostitute comes home with this little boy is because he covered his eyes when she exposed her boobs. And she felt like he was a good kid, so she got him home. And then she goes some home, and then she meets Ed Harris, who is a, a nice scientist man. He's in the uh, looking for the glossy ivis and the, the 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 wetlands, and she decides that she's going to hide out from her pimp, played by uh, Malcolm McDowell, yeah, in 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 the in the uh, glossy ivis, cool. and she falls in love. And it's just a beautiful movie about a prostitute these kids bought. There's I fucking you don't make things. movies Step like one, this anymore. You want to smell good. You know, so you get some tactical so we put it on, you smell good for the <laughs> Bobby ladies. Bobby B with the He's super like, chat says Cobes is exactly the kind of guy I want to hear this from. Like, oh, exactly. This, you know what I'm saying? Kind of thing. Step two, you want to make sure your nails are trimmed. They're soft. And by the way, if you also want to support the channel and maybe get an extra some extra content we made some of our patreon stuff available through youtube memberships so any of you who aren't really interested in patreon but you want to support us you can sign up for a membership if you click join there's some membership uh tiers in there yeah and we want to hear all your membership tiers when they're crying down your face and there's a you special babies there's a special role in the discord also and they're clean okay and step three is a bonus, and you should totally do it. Treat her like a woman deserves to be treated. Be respectful. You get her off and treat her right. She'll be hooked on you like a dog on biscuits, man. <laughs> you use your <laughs> dog on biscuits. I love King Cobra as, like, the dating guru. This is fantastic. Fucking get what you want, and you got men wrapped around your finger. Promise them a little bit. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Asa says this one dollar donation is for Christmas gifts, not for booze. Oh, believe me, I got gifts covered, but I appreciate the uh, extra help towards that. So Richard, with your one dollar donation, show us those fire beatbox skills. Uh oh. Man, I got pipe ash all over my hands. I don't want to wash my goddamn hands. That's why, that's so why you get the woman to bring you your pipe and your slippers. So you don't get pipe ash on your hands. He is a pipe fucking ash. genius. To uh, do certain things. I'm not so, you know. The fucking groovy. Yeah. No slippers there, by the way. He needs his woman to bring him his slippers. I still have my Halloween costume. Bang, and I'm bang. stuck with this for life, and I love it. I refuse to let the trolls ruin my Halloween. To be quite frank with you, this cap gun of mine kicks ass. You're gonna shoot your eye out. Hmm. 
that hair is looking super greasy. Is it? I thought it was looking kempt today. You can do it, Cobes. Belt that belt. Belt that belt. So if you want to shout out YouTube, donate Cash App, PayPal. He give doesn't you even if it's a, a penny. Shout out. Cameo prices are expensive. You know what I'm saying, YouTube. Got me a little bit of alcohol for the weekend. It's gonna be a gonna be a good Friday. I tell you what, YouTube. Wow. <laughs> Every time you say it's e begging, Cobra wins. Now I'm gonna <laughs> win even harder by banning you from my channel. Huh? Wait a win. Damn, I just got thirty-five dollars. Didn't even ask for it. Only people <laughs> like watching ask. Cobra give them a shout out. Didn't even ask for it. That's, that's, well, people just love King Cobra. <laughs> On the YouTube. If you hate Cobra so much, why do you watch his videos? Because you're a bigger fan than his fans are. Can you please shout out my cat? He ate too much food and he's constipated. Aw, oh, Patches. Hope you feel better, kitty kitty. People are like, you need to buy gifts because it's Christmas. And I'm like, first of all, dickhead, Christmas is not about the gifts. Second it's of about all, the drinks. you do realize <laughs> that Cobra <laughs> is releasing a brand new metal album That's for the, the real gift. I got seven... Excuse me, six songs for the album. I like how Cobra's buying alcohol and the trolls are like, I thought you said you were going to buy gifts. Why are you buying alcohol? And he's like, look, guys, the holidays aren't about the gifts. <laughs> it's about the booze. It's the <laughs> it's booze. It's so cute. So I got money for fucking gifts, dude. Don't worry about that. I am no alcoholic, but I appreciate that you're concerned about me these holiday seasons. Any advice for helping your cats? Uh, take them to the vet if all else fails. Nope, nope, nope. Blow, blow weed smoke in its face, right, Cobra? Give it some Mountain Dew. How about that? All I can suggest. Like, I hate Cobra, so I want to donate money to his cash app and talk a bunch of shit. It's like, and then Kobe didn't even read it. My shout out, my troll text. He didn't read it out loud. I hate Cobra. And like I said, if you people cannot donate, you don't have to. It's the holidays. I get it. You know, just the fact that I have so many amazing fans is more important to me than the donations. You know? It's like, okay, Cobra's got things that are going good in his life, and we can't have that. And it's like, fuck them, dude. Fuck That's the why. trolls. They're fuck jealous. Them, dude. They're fucking jealous ass losers. And it's not worth letting it upset you, to be honest, YouTube. It's not. That's My true, My life Cobes. can be sad, but the fact that someone goes out of their way to hate you... It's beyond fucking sad. That's true, Cobes. The only reason my trolls harass women and friends that I have in real life is because my trolls have nothing outside of King Cobra. And it makes them so goddamn mad. They're just like, it's not fair that Cobra's dick is bigger than mine and he has more friends than I do. Um, I keep telling my YouTube trolls, your mom liked the size of my dick last night, but hey, man, it's not about... Hey, man, that's my mom, dude. She's obviously non-related to you. There's nothing I can say. I'm not going to be having sex with my mom. That breaks the Cobra 10 amount. I, I, I can't... That's more like the Chris Chan. Way. Yeah, that's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not that guy. guy? He's got a bigger dick, whether you do or I do. <laughs> You know, if you hate Cobra, the simple solution is don't watch him. Cobra doesn't go out of his way to harass his trolls in real life. Because quite frankly, I don't have the time, energy, and I'm bigger than these sad pieces of shit. People are like, oh, you, you don't He's know. He's a bigger piece of shit. <laughs> Chris 
Christmas presents because you spent it all on booze, you fucking alcoholic piece of shit. And I'm like, first of all, I got money for Christmas presents coming in. And second of all, I'm not an alcoholic. I like to drink, yes, but I can choose when I'm like, you know what? I'm good. I've gone days without alcohol, days. even when I have days. Money He's gone days to drink. Yeah, but that's He's even without having money to drink. And going days without alcohol is a respectable thing to do. Stupid fucking retards. Cobra wants to get a six pack of Bud Light. Nistia, yeah, I'm assuming. Then I'm assuming anybody has. You don't think misgendering is a very sweet boy of me? thing to do you said misgendering is very sweet boy of you that's that's uh, uh, you say that wrong the oratorical whoop whoop y'all celebrating my 33rd birthday have some money oratorical yeah. happy birthday to thank you thank you happy birthday thank you are, are you six saying, more bucks i i wasn't misgendering ben said christian when i think christian i don't think christine weston chandler you can't be documented for decades online under the name Christian and expect me to rebrand the character I learned you as just because you now have a new name. If we're talking about Christine, Chris is I'll say a, Christine. Chris is a, I mean, like, I knew someone named Christine that used the, sure. the name Chris. But in my mind, Christian is a brand for Chris before Chris was Christine. Chris is like a very gender gender neutral name. Sure, of course it is, but yeah. that's not what I'm talking about. A whole made it bathroom. impossible for six hundred and sixty six dollars and sixty six cents, but got us to six hundred and sixty six dollars. Holler. I love it. You stand by your mistyping this to you, you better you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. How would you guys like to get us the goal so we don't have to sit here all night long? Wouldn't that be a great Christmas gift, guys? If I could go home at a reasonable time tonight, wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be a, the first time ever I get a Christmas bonus is by being able to go home early? Wouldn't that be sweet? Mm. No, sit there, suffer. All right, then. I'm going to go home early, and you guys can sit without me. How's that, Tiny Tim? You little bitch-ass, bitch-ass. <sighs> Nistia, I'm sorry your toddler won't go to sleep, but that's no reason for you to cry, or that's no reason for you to come here. Do you realize? Do you realize? When you come here and you tell me your toddler's crying, like, that's not, it's inappropriate. That goes against Twitch etiquette. When I ask you, what's up? I don't want to hear about your toddler crying, okay? I want to hear, I want to hear about, oh, uh, two, two things you can say. When I say, what's up, you say, the sky? Or you say, nothing, I'm happy to be here, here's money. <laughs> Have you seen that guy on Twitch? You fucking ask a girl, like, ask her where she's been a fan. And she responds, oh, yeah, it's been away a while. My mom died. And he just goes in on her and just shits on her for, for saying that her mom passed away. It's like that's it's so weak. It's so bitch bullshit, dude. I saw that and I, just, I immediately wanted that guy to get, you know, a bag of fucking shit in his Happy Meal. It was terrible. Uh, I know, leaving me in a little box. We have that whole other screen that has me and Ben overlaid the video. I'm big there. That's a beautiful screen. We should be using that all night, but we're not using it because we'd rather have 48 instances of drunken peasants across the screen. That pisses me off. I want to be bigger and prettier all the time. Mmm. A lot of people did videos on that guy. I'm surprised we didn't watch that video on the show. It was it was a great video. It was terrible. The guy was such a prick. Bustelo says my mom passed away nine months before I was born. That's that's a hard life, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. That's the proper response. 
you should give in a situation like that. That's simple. Yeah, we're going through some tough times here at Drunken Business. Seth looks, this is a trial separation. Ben put me down at the bottom of the box. Uh, we're just going to see how it works. Hopefully, you know, things will get better and we'll be able to be back next to each other later. But I said we should just like, you know, start doing the show from different rooms. But he was adamant that we can't lose that factor. So he just moved the, the webcam over a little bit. That's okay. Stevie McHugs, you better you better not wonder that sort of thing. You better not wonder. I've been doing drunken peasants for nine years. Bringing Ben in on drunken peasants was the best choice I ever made. Schnoodlebug says my 3D monster movie premiered last week in Vancouver. I'm uploading it to YouTube once we hit 100 subs. Comes in both original 2D red and classic red blue 3D. Schnoodlebug, cheers to you. Um, if you guys see Schnoodlebug in the chat, it'd be awesome to show some love. If you would, if you would like, I'm gonna refresh so I can finish reading that entire scenario because unfortunately it didn't load and we don't have enough time. I'm sure the ghost will probably read it soon enough. But uh, you said you're gonna release it in red, blue, 3D, where where you're also making a limited edition VHS tapes with 3D glasses schnoodlebug.com to subscribe that's great that's great schnoodlebug if you guys want to go to schnoodlebug.com and check all that out it's a good life oh sheesh sheesh Rosera says I was a DP watcher nine years ago and then I dropped off and when I came back it was a shock to see someone new but I really warmed up to that Ben guy I know, I know, best move I ever made, signing Ben on, you know, before it was me and uh, some other YouTubers, it was uh, me, the original Drunken Peasants was me, uh, Pootie Pie, uh, D D Jenna Marbles, and uh, Harley from Epic Mealtime, and when those three started to blow up on their respective side channels, I was kind of left alone. And bringing Ben in was seriously like it was a, it was a shot to the heart. It was a, it was a beautiful reimagination of what the future could be. Mm. I'm a lot of people miss the DP wiki. There used to be a DP wiki. I've been thinking if I get enough people. To sign up to my uh, Kickstarter, I'm going to rewrite the DP wiki page by page in a book that I will send to you called DP Wiki Revisionist History, and it will be the history of drunken peasants as told through my lies and imagination. I think it'll be a quality read. Many of you uh, will still read it knowing it was all made up and you'd still argue with it because that's how sick you are but I think it's a good idea I haven't tried the reindeer meats yet Jack Nicholson um, <laughs> you want to know who tasted better I'm, it's interesting to think that one might taste different than the other but that's a good point I wonder if they're, they have like different flavors for each reindeer I should read the ingredients <laughs> Um, let's check out something that we haven't done in a little while here. There we go. Those juices, I said maybe Billy's going to be the one that saves me. After all, I lost a ball. Beautiful. Damn. Like an angel. Eggheads um, asked if I watched a new Avatar movie. No, I've been doing fucking Drunken Peasants all weekend, and I didn't want to leave the podcast to go watch a three and a half hour movie at midnight. It is long. That's psychotic. I can't do it. Um, it's been available late night too, like going into eleven thirty at night. I almost did it two nights in a row now, and it's just like, no, nah, I'm just gonna go home and rest. And I won't do it tonight either because I gotta get up tomorrow and do a fucking live stream in the morning. It's not good. All right, here we go. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. <sighs> The individual Brett Keen segment situation. 
Haven't done this in a while. Here we go. Let's dive into this shit. <laughs> oh, God. Some people may want to know how do I feel about the elections and all that. Do you want to? Felt- is this a new video of Brett? Yep. Well, I'm going to go pee. So uh, if you want to pause it and all talk right. to the audience, yes, or if you want to watch wait. this without me, I'm fine with you watching it without I me. I said maybe. Billy's going to be the one that saves me. We'll come After back to all, that. I lost your ball. We'll come back to this. Individual that you oh, shit. Pick up the beautiful asshole. <sighs> I'm all thrown off now. The individual my guys can support our sweaty bois. Oh wow, look, I I noticed it played right away. That's good. Hello everybody. Hello, hello. Everyone should sign up for the Patreon. Because actual mania is coming up this coming Friday and you don't want to miss it. This is going to be an epic actual mania. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a promo from Egghead in a little while. We do have some promos to watch tonight before everything's said and done tonight. Thanks for helping us get to 85, almost 86%. Um, you know, we're about three hours in. We've been having some brutal five-hour shows. I really don't want to do a five-hour show. Send us a Christmas miracle and and just... Help us not do a five-hour show. Like the stream. That's always very helpful. Support our sponsors. We have uh, Vance Global, which is an amazing sponsor. If you want to check them out and get 20% off your order. there's I've been hearing rave reviews about it. I got some of the products. They're pretty powerful. If you like some powerful stuff. You should check it out. The THCO, like, oh, my God. Like, I don't I don't know, you know. We get a kickback. We get a kickback if you, if you use our code PEASANTS at checkout. The code PEASANTS at checkout is what you need to do. So I set up this screen so that when we get guests you know let's say we only have three guests or uh, i'm sorry let's say we only have three of us here then i just pop in one and here's two and i can I could do this too. I can like take myself out like that. <laughs> Cause like I saved all of the scenes, all the camera shots with borders on them. So <laughs> I'm almost back to where I need to be. Neek, thank you for the dono, by the way. Yeah, amazing. Getting so close, 85%. So we'll we'll watch the Brett stuff now. Um, let's do that. Ah, I overshot. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Some people may want to know how do I feel about the elections and all that. I felt like Trump had Star it, Spangled Luchador. Down. I don't know what and tree you're barking that... up, Allegas, saying there's not that many promos. I don't think you understand that I've been running a live promo for the last week and a half between me and Auntie Jesse. Maybe you missed it because you're used to your old fashioned ways serving up your VHS tapes. But you got to recognize what we're doing here for Actual Mania for the Tag Team Championship is a slow burn, baby. The um, Had the government not played a game, we wouldn't be in the issue that we are in now. So, <laughs> you talk about the election. The government played a game, and that's why we're in the issue we're on now. We're on an issue. Like, uh, okay, can you explain? What issue are we on? 
I don't believe that Joe Biden belongs as the president. I believe that... I don't believe Joe Biden belongs as the president. <laughs> the way he speaks. I haven't listened to him in a while. But this is... Yeah, it's, it's m- some mush mouth fucking Missouri redneck backwoods talk. The system was screwed. And that's the reason why all these liberals out here and these corporate com- companies went out of their way to these knock anybody companies. out that had that opinion. And the fact that it was allowed to happen, that it was allowed to shut people down and silence people and censor people what? for having the damn idea that the president they voted for got screwed over. The fact that they can just come along and silence whoever they want Like, that shows us that our government is no longer ours, but a tyranny. A tyranny? A tyranny! (laughs) It's the irony of a tyranny. That's a new Keenism right there. A tyranny. Is that like... It's a tyranny! (laughs) Is it like a knee that that bends with a a rubber tire around it? (laughs) He's still going! He's still going! (laughs) A tyranny! (laughs) Oh, God. Now he's just being quiet. I thought I had it paused, but it turns out he's just not saying it. It also amazes me, too. I'm going to say something that's uh, totally a fucking no-no on the internet and on YouTube. and That's a- almost everything you've ever said. Every one of these corporate sites, but it is what it is. There's water. Um, President Trump, he was being attacked from all different sides, and was having a lot of trouble with China. They were arguing over trade deals. They were basically fighting over money and economy. (laughs) They're arguing over trade deals. So like we're, uh, it's uh, episode one, the Phantom Menace all over again. They're trying to make an economy situation. Um, With politicians, that's everything to them. That's the Bible. That's their religion, making as much money as they possibly can. And Trump was putting a foot in the door whenever it came to China. Trump was putting the foot in the door. Yeah, Trump was like, you're not going to make a bunch of money at all costs. That's not the American way. That's not the Trump way. And then suddenly China, of course, has this mysterious uh, problem all of a sudden show up that ends up causing us all to be locked down and having to stroll around in herds like sheep wearing masks. In it herds? It was so convenient the time in which it all happened. And I know some people may say, well, that's a conspiracy theory. I mean, it's, it's just a coincidence that the country that we're going after and then also another country... We're going after China? I mean, like... We have like a like a symbiotic economy with China. Uh, like uh, we're not going after them. Definitely not. If 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 we had an actual like war with China, the economic ramifications of it would be fucking terrible. It'd be ridiculous. Like inflation and the price of goods would just go through the roof. All that cheap Chinese goods that we pay. You know, bottom dollar for that's uh, most of that comes out of China. We don't with slave labor. The the Chinese economy has raised to a point where it's not as cheap in China as it is in other places. So we yeah, there's like Bangladesh and shit, but China is has way more people, so their labor force, even if it's not as cheap, like their labor force, we could we could find so much shit. We could find a way to make it work, and maybe if we started making stuff from home, we'd be earning more money and keeping everything inside too. Maybe it'd be a good thing for us to go to war. It it would be uh, like the economic ramifications, the immediate economic. Like you saw what happened to the economy just when the ships couldn't get over here from. But from also, China. we're getting to a point now where robotics is taking over manpower, anyways. They, there was a supply chain problem, especially coming from. It's because we're stuck on the old way and from Asia, and then after that, like. All the prices got inflated after that, and that was just because they couldn't find a place to drop off their goods. In, in a in a situation where it's just not coming at all, there would be 
like immediate ramifications for it. And that's business related too. in wartime where the business ties would no longer have to be adhered to. We could start making some moves that would speed things up quite a bit. Wartime law would change things. We also owe like this crazy weird debt to China. How are they going to collect it, right? You know how many times it's I've owed still... my drug dealer money for all the crack I bought? So totally... And when he came to collect it, I just broke his kneecaps? Yeah. It's not a good comparison. Well, that, what um, would happen, though? What would happen if, if China, if China with all the... didn't would... get their money back? I mean, like, they have a bunch of money and shit. Yeah, I mean, like, it would cause inflation of our money... If, if we didn't pay Joe China Biden's back? Son was Are you sure about that, that or is that just an assumption? And the government, I'm pretty sure. Suddenly, uh, Russia is wanting to go after them and people are talking about wars and people are getting fucking blown up all of a sudden. And nobody seems to see the correlation how all of a sudden we get like distracted the from banks and shit. Joe Biden's bullshit in his history and past to. Because China has suddenly... what? 8% of our debt, national debt? I'm not sure. They own like a. a I don't know if it's changed since COVID. This is pre-COVID numbers. I think between China and Japan, there was like a 15% debt that, that they owned. But like, really what happens when we don't, like, like we go to war with China, like, they're just like, okay, we're collecting that right now. Like, what, what really does happen, right? We go into collections? <laughs> like, how does that really actually affect us? That's an interesting question. The Ukraine. This is this, can you show us on a map where China's all, kneecaps are? All these fucking I guarantee years, you the U.S. military knows where China's kneecaps are. This all of a sudden becomes like a, a major thing that we need to worry about. And then we're all fighting for our life and fighting for our jobs and everything because some mysterious fucking pandemic exploded on the scene. Some mysterious course, plan, pa pandemic exploded on the scene. <clears throat> yes, that's... That's that's what happened. There was a pandemic. Uh, I, I, it was mysterious, which is why there was so much caution around it. It's, the pandemic not only killed people and was biological, but then we've got our president basically taking a lot of heat over that. Um, but still, I believe <laughs> that he would have won the vote. I still think that the doctor... The Chinese tire kneecap. It's terrible was there and for the past few years we've been seeing paperwork and drops and uh, ballots that were burned and all kinds of evidence of tampering and bullshit but nobody is doing a fucking thing about it <laughs> so he's still stuck on Some the may want like to stolen election stuff no how do i feel about the elections and all that i felt like trump had it hands down and i felt uh, not sure says there's a ton of stuff robots cannot do and never will. Just ask anybody that works with robots. They're just stupid machines that need to be fixed and calibrated constantly. As we develop robotic technology, their needs to be calibrated constantly and fixed will be met through robotics. We've seen the, the robotics over the years become so far more advanced. And with or without a uh, human needing to fix them and, and upgrade them, Time it does... Make sure China is entire kneecap. It does bring down the, the price of labor to start giving some of these human jobs to robots rather than humans. Like, like of course, it's not going to eliminate the need for human workforce, but it is going to alleviate some of the need. The, the, um, had the government not played a game, we wouldn't be in the issue that we are in now. Don'ts like Brett saying we have seen all this proof and never show the proof. Seth right. looks, I don't know if you're purposefully misspelling here, <clears throat> but it's driving me crazy trying to credit you. But yeah, it's, it's, they have all this proof and we never see it. But when they when we when they do show us the proof in rare circumstances, when it's things that really don't matter that much, like Hunter Biden's fucking laptop, the, 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 it does <clears throat> it does get muted a little bit, right? I was reading, I found this article where they say basically any move to cancel debt held by China, i.e. default on it, would destroy the full faith and credit of the U.S. and send U.S. interest rates soaring and could ignite a global financial catastrophe. Um, yeah, I... 
yeah, this is this is to say that this is not in a wartime scenario, though. If it yeah, was a wartime scenario and you were pausing your payments, it's going to be different. It's not going to be a matter of uh, it's going to be a matter of losing faith in the U.S. It's going to be like, oh, they're going to war. They're going to probably lose faith in the world economy if the two world powers are going head to head, and that's going to fuck up a lot more than just the U.S. money. I, I would imagine. Oh, everything. Yeah, yeah. The 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 global economy would suffer. I mean, look at look at when all those banks collapsed back in. Uh, 2008 when that shit happened and all the bailouts happened too that affected the entire world's economy so something like this where it's like the two of the most highly populated countries on earth their trade between each other is huge for the global economy the bailouts uh, supported systems that were too big to exist that's why it fucked up the economy because it's like basically told us that the idea that we we have a merit based economic system was was bullshit, right? We saw how just we've already seen it demonstrated how the supply chains just being temporarily interrupted how that fucked up our our economy. Uh, so it just stopping would directly. Uh, cause problems but that's because there's like the business ethics of breaking through different ports and everything right now with this supply chain thing like the ethics of doing business differently are questionable but in a time of war like the ethics are kind of changed not really anymore i mean like this isn't world war ii it's not like they're we saw we saw how bombs. ukraine and russia happened when they cut down mcdonald's right everybody was like we're not going to get mcdonald's in russia anymore but the supply chain still moved, and there was still a McDonald's facsimile in Russia. It was Russia. a fake McDonald's. But it was still a burger place that was doing the same things McDonald's so was doing, a right? burger place. I mean, but that's, that's a metaphor of. for what would happen, right? When you're no longer bound by the laws of business, the, the laws of reality in kind of In the very, over. very short term, we would see catastrophic economic repercussions. Of course, and we see that a lot of times uh, in a, a lot of different ways, but we would probably bounce back, just like Russia, it could take Russia decades, did with the McDonald's. Yeah, sure. It could. It, yeah. it, could, also, it could also be... So you're arguing nothing. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, like, I'm, yeah, I'm we could bounce back. I'm questioning something, not I arguing. Know. I don't know. I don't I mean, like, yeah, we could bounce back, but it would be immediate. We Like, there would be negative repercussions immediately, and then, yeah, so, like, there'd have to be massive changes, and people would suffer it would be fucking awful that's what i'm saying uh, what you're saying and, yeah, is, we, is a is a direct statement right like i'm i'm just questioning so you're making a direct statement so it's like what you're saying is more finite than than my questions right i don't believe you're just asking questions yeah okay i'm just asking questions the joe biden if that isn't a dog whistle president i believe i don't know what it is the system was screwed and that's the reason why all these liberals out here and these corporate com companies went out of their way this to corporate knock companies. He said that twice now. Out that had that opinion, and the fact that it was allowed to happen, that it was allowed to shut people down and silence people and censor. Not sure says fiat currency is totally dependent on belief, not anything that has actual value. Nicholas Rosa says fiat scam Ponzi, and it's the main reason for such a massive wealth gap increasing over time. That's really what I think it comes down to is when you want to go back to gold standard. No, not go back to gold standard, but like when the money starts to no longer hold up, when when the bullshit, when the idea that you know debt is a real thing gets eliminated for a wartime, like like that's going to kind of re-question everything, right? That that's that's Depends, the question I'm going for. I, I mean, like the last few wars we've been involved in are some of the longest we've ever been in, and like it wasn't an official war, so really almost nothing at home changed except for a lot of people just really didn't like it happening fbofa5 says i've only been here five seconds and i really want to want to tell billy to shut the fuck up a new record unfortunately uh you didn't do that in the form of a donation so i'm not going to acknowledge that as you telling me to shut you the just fuck said up. it though. man up and tell me in the form of a donation if you really want to i know you're not going to do it though your people for having the damn idea that the president they voted for got screwed over. 
And Neek, thank you for getting us to seven hundo. The fact that they can just come along and silence whoever they want, like that shows us that our government is no longer ours, but a tyranny. <laughs> he said tyranny again. It also amazes me, too. I'm going to say something that's uh, totally a fucking no-no on the internet and on YouTube. <laughs> oh, and God. Every one of these. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. I wonder what he's going to say. Corporate sites, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, President <laughs> Trump, he was being attacked from all different sides and was having a lot of trouble with China. They were arguing over trade deals. They oh, were... you know what? It played over again, I guess. I didn't even notice Is that. It. Did he just do this to make a longer video to get more ad revenue? I don't know. Like, what So he the didn't fuck say tyranny on? again. You all were fooled once again but by normally, the king, Brett King. See, see normally, <laughs> normally it... Normally... So, yeah, it's like an extra long video of him just saying the same shit. Being under fire. Why? Is that his new gimmick? Not using a video, only using a picture so he can take the audio he did and paste it two or three times over. That's so he gets a 10 minute weird. video with double ad revenue. That's so weird. <laughs> Tra trade deals. Just looking for that dono from FBO FA5. <coughs> Where's the dono telling me to shut the fuck up? New record of you not telling me to shut the fuck up. Damn. Yeah, uh, baby steps, you know? Just five of you drop a 20, or 10 of you drop 10. 10 for 10. Help us get to that goal. Or if just one of you drop your trousers. And let us see that. Ma That's going to get us canceled. I do kind of need an HR department here at Drunken Peasants. Because every once in a while, I say some shit that... Every once in a while? Yeah, every once in a while, I say something that makes our audience uncomfortable. Every once in a while. And they need happens. somebody to talk to. If you guys would like to upload videos, uh, if you're on Twitter, hashtag uh, HR department at Drunken Peasants. Um, DPHR. Hashtag. And we're we're back again on Monday and Tuesday. Damn. It just never ends. It never ends. Fun never ends here at Drunken Peasants. Yeah. Brian Fields says I'm uncomfortable. Well, I need you to <laughs> I've decided our HR department is actually Streamlabs. Yeah. Make your, make your complaints to the HR department via a Streamlab donation. Um. The HR department is Honest Red. Nice. Watch this. This is this guy is the president of, I think, South Sudan in Africa. And he pisses his pants in this video. Look. See, between his legs. He's obviously just pissing his pants because he's got so much love for his country. That's patriotism in action. What a king. <laughs> that, my friends... <laughs> oh no! Look, it's puddling. He's just he's just looking down at all his proud patriotism <laughs> running down his leg, oozing with it. The band kind of sucks too. It sounds really bad. Yeah, I don't know if we should be playing this actually, Ben. Why? This video was a leak. Was it? Wow, so he pissed himself. What is this? I can't stand another man touching me! Well, no one did that. It's okay. okay. Is this a prank? Is this a prank? He won't go away! He needs to go away! He's the fucking problem! 
I need a leave. No, no, no. I still got, I still got, okay. She threw some of my stuff. She threw some of my stuff. I'm so sorry. This is the price you pay for shopping at Walmart. Yeah, Walmart is a freak show. Well, she wasn't sorry when she cut in line. Fuck and you! I didn't see you! To make it... Oh, I just asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just leave. Just go. That's leave. an adult. You're making it worse! Damn. I'm just talking. Wow, what a lunatic. God. Wow. Ugh. What was Chris? What was Chris? That is some crazy shit. I will chop off your tongue if you talk about Saddam. Actually, I don't want to play this. I will this talk about Saddam. I just Did something noticed, happen here? Well, I just noticed it has the live leak thing on it, and they always claim shit. Oh. So, uh, yeah. Bye, bye, bluebird. Womp. <laughs> This always happens at McDonald's. They just shouldn't keep anything really on their counter except for maybe the cash register. Actually, just make it all kiosks. You can you know? only sell people food through the app on your phone. Yeah. I've done that a few times. Uh, McDonald's really tries to catch you with that shit because they'll like offer you buy one, get ones on Big Macs and Quarter Pounders yeah. and shit they'll like that. They'll be like, that. they'll be like, you want free nuggets? Spend yeah. one dollar, you yeah. get free nuggets. Yeah. That's why they want you to use the app. This Tia says she was clearly having a breakdown and he just stands there making it worse. Of course, yeah, of course. Her breakdown was massive, though. Her breakdown, breakdown the was top. crazy. It was crazy. It was, it was like, obviously, she... She probably shouldn't be out in society unmedicated. That's 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 a fair scenario. He was making it worse. I I, I watch a lot of these videos online of people like uh, pranking people, and you get these big crazy reactions to the pranks. Somebody just dropped a. Yeah, I'll read that after I'm oh, done okay. talking my story. I wouldn't want it to interrupt me, but here we are. Um, people got these pranks and it's like, they're funny until you realize these reactions are probably just people's PTSD being triggered. And then you're like, oh, this ruins pranks for me. I thought this guy was really funny because he got this wild reaction out of somebody, but really he's just poking them where their fucking inner child was destroyed. Uh, Eric says, can live leak. Once I got to read every time I fucking walk away from Streamlabs, it makes me refresh. Can Live Leak still claim stuff? I thought they, the site didn't exist anymore. Uh, anyway, tip train, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you. I for the think tip they trainer. still claim videos to make money off of them. Who knows? We've been doing this show for nine years. Live Leak uh, had more power back then, but they could still get us. There's all kinds of. Uh, th there's another one that I can't remember the name of right now. They always claim stuff. Poop shoot. There's like break.com. Break was a big claimer. Yeah. Yeah. I got a break check one time. Started claiming my own shit afterwards. McDonald's today. I feel, I feel bad for the employees. But I don't feel bad for the corporation. Yeah, it's hard enough working at a McDonald's and you got people coming in trying to fight you while you're working there. Like every it's McDonald's should probably put up a bulletproof uh, window wall at something. their registers. After one of these incidents happens, every store in the area should be forced to put up a plexiglass barrier. Hold your leg. Hold your leg like you got hurt. All right. Murdered Karen says Billy being interrupted is entertaining. An interrupted Bill segment. You don't want to do that, okay? Because I'll lose my shit. I command a certain level of respect on this podcast, which is why I'm still waiting for FBO FA5 to tell me to shut the fuck up via a donation. And I'll continue to wait. What is this? Is this that NERD right. music video? Just chilling? I'm just chilling. Okay. They can park in the red, but we 
when you park in the red, you get a fucking ticket, right? Hey, he <laughs> me my line. Fuck that. Don't Good. Me. I like this protest. Yeah. I like this. They go park in the red, but when you park in the red, you get a fucking ticket, right? He's just standing on their car. I like that guy. <clears throat> I like him choosing this hill. I think this is Ben Shapiro reacting to the Trump NFT. Major announcement almost completely craters his presidential campaign before it even gets off the ground. Even many of his very, very strong allies, people ranging from Steve Bannon to say the Hodge twins, were criticizing what Donald Trump did yesterday and for good reason. So former president of the United States, a man who is the presumptive front runner jumping into the race doing this, is cringeworthy. It just is. Now that Fuentes is hanging out with Trump, Ben Shapiro is. There's no way Ben Shapiro is going to get Trump disavowed Trump. Fuentes, Did and he? then yeah, Trump disavowed Fuentes, and then Trump has been going on a pro-Israel tour. Afterwards. Is he? Yeah, I thought he was like, I, I don't really know him. I don't know him. So yeah, and that's that's his disavowing. And is then that he's disavowing going, or is that saying he doesn't really know him? He yeah. had to, he went out to dinner with him and then immediately had to say I don't know him. He kind of did the same thing with David Duke. Yeah, which is also disavowing, right? It's not really like a hard disavow. It's like a passive disavow. Well, now he's going on a tour uh, to support Israel and show his alliance uh, where his alliances lie. He he's going to go not. he's going to go meet with Netanyahu. Probably. I think they have a good rapport together, then, right? When you say you have a major announcement and what you actually drop is what appears to be an NFT money grab, especially in his... I mean, it's like on every available front, it's just, it's the dumbest politics I think maybe I've ever seen. It's, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's really, it's painful. How were you able to exercise a respect for Trump this entire time? I guess because Trump was effective in 2016. But I don't even think Trump's was... I don't think Trump was effective in 2016 because of Trump necessarily... It was how terrible the Democratic Party was handling everything between Bernie and uh, uh, the, the the Hillary disconnect from the average person. It really felt like they were blind and dropping the ball. And Trump at least spoke to people the way people like wanted to hear that. That was the that was the part where Trump became this this the precedent because everybody else wanted that Bernie or they wanted somebody they could at least felt like was going to go to bat for them. And they didn't feel that way with Hillary. Shootlebug here again. I'm shocked, but I just managed to upload my monster movie to Instagram. The whole thing. Mine uh, at S <laughs> at S C H N U D L B U G to check it out. Shootlebug. Cheers. Doesn't roll off the tongue like P E A S A N T S. Uh. It's painful, and this is coming from somebody who voted for Donald Trump in 2020, and it, like this, it it is just bad. So Trump, you know, I was just I, I was just doing the math, and in my lifetime, there's been four Republican presidents and three Democrats, and two of the Republicans were one termers. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. And how many of the Democrats were one termers? None. Ballin. None. Well, we don't know. Biden might be. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but still, balling. He might be a one-termer by choice. He might be that. That's a first in my lifetime. The two Democrats before that were they one-termers? Because uh, no. we had Obama and Clinton. No, before your lifetime, oh, we had Jimmy Carter was Carter one -term. was a one-termer. Who was a Democrat before that? Um. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, Ford was a Republican, was right? Was it uh, was it Lyndon Johnson? Well, I don't even who know. took the presidency because of Kennedy's assassination? I'm going to look up this president history, presidential history. Is that what you would? Presidents just fucking presidents should show up to history, right? Let's Bill see. Clinton, Reagan, Jimmy Carter. But this doesn't go by. Doesn't go by party. All right, They're motherfucking see. me. All right, I got this. I got All right. this. So, um, this yeah, uh, yeah, it was Lyndon Johnson was the last Democrat before Carter. Does it say Democrat there? He is a Democrat. Okay, but who, Joe Ford, yeah, Joe Ford, Richard Nixon. Yeah, yeah, Republican, Republican. Republican. How long did LBJ, Joe, did he have two terms? Uh, I don't know. Does it say when he was in... Because he, okay, he took the rest of Kennedy's term when Kennedy died. Yeah, L.B. Johnson went from 1963 to 1969. 
So that's yeah. not a full two terms, right? Yeah, he had part of JFK. He did term. get reelected from taking over. Yes, yes. So yeah, he got that. He got JFK's partial term. Does he get? A th- uh, would he have an option for another term? I don't know. I used to think that, but I I really don't know. And this is kind of weird. So like Nixon won the next election, and then he resigned. So then Gerald Ford became president, and then and then Carter became president. It's yeah, it's weird. Weird stuff. Fucking Herbert Hoover. Yeah. <laughs> Go far back enough, they're paintings, and then they become black and white pictures. It's you know weird. who Her- Herbert uh, Herbie Hancock is? You know who Herbie Hancock is? Who? He's a musician, right? Oh, I don't know. Herbie Hancock. <laughs> I thought you were setting me up for some joke. No, there's Herbert Hoover, who obviously Hoover is the suck. Her- Herbie Hancock is obviously the hand job. A jazz pianist, musician, yeah. Herbie Hancock, Herbert Hoover. Is there another Her- Herbert that has like a name that would be like uh, akin to vaginal sex so we could have the triad of, of Her- Her- Herberts or a butt sex Herbert even? Is there like a Herbert Brown hole? <laughs> All hail space puppy Herbert tip train chicka 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 poop poop thank you baseball uh, let's play some uh let's play some of these actual mania promos that I got here. Let's see who we got. Oh no no no. I th- actually I was wrong. That's uh that is cringe rap that I and have. That seems up. like it's it's cringe gonna rap. be a copyright beat probably. Hello, is it drunken pig? Audio up ben, Billy the amazing fans. Apologies for the court's silence for a while. We've been out of session. Yes, but now I'm back. Me and my new appointed bailiff, Auntie Jess, has been working on a great video for you all. Your bailiff? What are you, a judge? Like, I, I think she's your tag partner. But now I have some secrets to <laughs> the reveal. Court of Owls about. does assume that he's the judge, right? That's the point of the court. Okay, I guess so. I guess so. That's the- ben Pai, thanks to my spy. Yes, Mr. Ben Pai. What? I know your secret. A secret you've been trying to hide from everyone. What is that secret, you may ask? All hail, Where- space puppy. To train chug a chug is a space food. puppy the secret? What what's what do you know about space puppy? My spy has found documents that Mr. Benpai is actually from Michigan. Can you believe? That is not true. Are you sure? Yeah, and and why why are you coming at the champ? First, you're going to add egghead. And now you're coming at the champ. You got to get through Billy the Fridge in Simple yeah, there's a Country. Whole other champ. Like, like what? What are you trying to pull? You're you got, you're shooting for the stars. You got two other champs you need to worry about. You got to stay on Earth right now. Better not lose this for Auntie Jesse. Yeah. Wow. This this sort of attitude will not earn you any votes. I don't think. I don't know. A lot of people say that. So the place I was born was part of Michigan before I was born, but not after. So your ancestors were Michigani? My ancestors didn't live there. Oh, then. Thank, thank goodness. My ancestors all came from Europe. Thank in the, goodness. Like 1910s. Believe it. Shocking, I know. Um, Hawkeye's claiming your Ohio <laughs> Men Empire is not is not true. The Ohio Men Empire. <laughs> it's like the Ottoman Empire. The Ohio Men Empire. <laughs> well, the court signs off. That took over Michigan Billy. for Toledo. Oh, Billy, you beautiful, beautiful Dutch woman, you. You're so sweet. Dutch? I have one thing to tell you. Are you listening? Waiting. Okay. Billy, the fridge, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Some awkward projection, but, but the, uh, I understand. The wood paneled room really adds to the feel of in the this. woods. That's how, that's where owls stay is in the woods. Yeah. But honestly, uh, the court of owls, um, you ain't you you ain't shit. I dissected some owl pellets. All right, 
If I if I go in there, I'm gonna see you. Maybe ate a rat. Maybe you ate. Maybe you ate on a fucking uh some piss. Maybe you ate on uh some honest red. I I will dissect your pellets. I know how you got here, Papa. You were you were scavenging. You were scavenging off the work of your partners. So don't make me dissect your pellets, Court of Owls. I'll do it. Dissect your pellets. I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, don't fuck around. You tread lightly. Yeah. Obviously, though, I'm... No, my family was nowhere near Michigan. My Ohio family were from the other side of Ohio. So, yeah, so Ohio State has to play Georgia on New Year's Eve... And if they win, they go to the the college football championship. And then Michigan has to play TCU on New Year's Eve. And if they win, they go to the championship. And I'm I'll tell you what, this is, I only hope Michigan wins if Ohio State also wins so that they can play each other in the championship, because that would be great. But I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Georgia's the best team. So Ohio State is ranked four, so they played the number one ranked team, and then Michigan's ranked two, and they played the number three ranked team. All right, guys, I'm looking at the clock right now. We got about 25 minutes till we hit the four hour mark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you guys to donate in the next 25 minutes. Get us to the goal, please. Get us to the goal because I don't want to do longer than four hours tonight. I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now. This is a four hour show. Washington is 12. These are all subjectively voted on. Oregon and Oregon State are 14 and 15. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the top 25, and it's like the end of the season, so this is pretty definitive on like who uh, who was ranked where. Usually Alabama's in the top four. I think they lost two or something, so they weren't in it, but there were five. Ohio State took that loss to Michigan, but still held on. So Ohio State used to be, it used to be two, and Michigan was three, and then Michigan beat Ohio State, and Ohio State dropped down to four. So this is it, and Georgia's the number one team. Seth looks and Hawkeye are asking if there are any more pornos, pomos, promos, promos. of course. Hello, drunken peasant. Oh no, wait, that's the same one. This one. Yeah, when when I'm eating those fucking Domino's pizza coupons. And even though I plan on doing zero work, <laughs> uh, Simple Country will have to do something to make us win so I can have all the pizza <laughs> cards. Simple country will have to do some Simple Country will have to do some Simple Country will have to do some Simple Country will have to do something to Make us win so I can have all the pizza cards. <laughs> and he's sick right now. He's sick, yeah, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> and he's sick right now. He's sick, yeah, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> and he's sick right now. He's sick, yeah, it's gonna you be bad. Black and white. It's a squash. You Pretty guys are sure. gonna get your asses handed Pretty to Pretty sure you. Auntie Jesse poisoned him. <laughs> Auntie Jesse poisoned him. Auntie Jesse poisoned wow. him. Auntie Jesse poisoned him. Auntie Jesse poisoned him. Auntie Jesse poisoned him. So how are you feeling, Billy? The D P Discord is a great place to be to mingle if you like schizophrenics. 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 <laughs> did, did we just get an admission? Simple country got poisoned. How that's illegal. How is how is this fair? Hello there, peasants. It's me, your boy John, coming to you live from the Russian prison state. I still can't get over that. Anyways, I've noticed something. Even I notice something sometimes. And this is related to the fact that a few of my actual mania entries are not uploaded or not shown on the stream. But the moment I started paying attention to you guys, the moment you started uh, actually uploading something that is not currently a work in progress. It's not a work that I've actually finished, 
But, well, I guess. You can have it. I guess the thing I played was not completely finished. I thought How he posted it. But I really I wanted know. to finish that thing first, so. So finish it. Fuck. Anyways. I thought so it I ended mean, abruptly. For the next battle, I'm ready for it. Oh, you're you're gonna be part of it. Nice. Yeah, you'll you'll be in it next month, at the end of January. We're we're gonna have all kinds of, of people in this. Hunty Jesse, I buy my fucking tea from a different Chipotle every day. Okay, unless you poison poison the entire Chipotle tea line, you're not gonna get to me. Okay. You are darkness. You are pizza. That's the only way you're going to get to me is if you poison the pizza I order after I beat you. That's it. When last we left the Star Spangled Luchador, the beguiling music of the self proclaimed Disney villain of actual mania, Herbie Joles, coupled with the deep desire to win the pizza prize, had driven the Star Spangled Luchador to the brink of near madness. Now we join the Star Spangled Luchador in the next chapter of his exciting adventures. Ha ha ha! The perfect strategy at last. Your boy, the Star Spangled Luchador, was so obsessed with trying to figure out how he was gonna get that pizza. He completely lost sight of the task at hand, figuring out a good strategy to defeat Ravi Jules. Uh, your boy figured it out. Got it all worked out. Got it all working, firing all the cylinders. You see, I eat some pizza now. It will clear my head. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that smells wonderful. Huh? What's that? What's that sound? Oh so, no! Pizza, Mr. Luchador. That's really all you can think about after you brutalized me in actual mania and just moved on like it was nothing. You know what? Revenge is a dish best served cold, much like pizza. You want pizza so badly? I'll give you your pizza. I banish you to the plane of elemental pizza. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, ah, oh, my back. Oh, oh, where the heck am I? Where's the? Oh man, I must have dropped that pizza before I got sucked through that dimension no. gate portal thing. <laughs> Damn it, where am I now? What is this place? It's like it's like some bizarre dimension where everything's made out of pizza. Oh man, how am I supposed to compete in actual mania uh, uh, when I'm stuck here? Damn that dirty wizard magicless. Magicless, I I how could you do this? Better Figure out how I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, can I just suggest something really quick? What? Uh, eat your way out. Yeah. Uh. Thanks to a magical <laughs> ambush by Lord Magicus, the Star Spangled Luchador finds himself trapped on the plane of elemental pizza. Will he be able to find his way back to the prime material plane in time to compete in actual mania? Tune in next time to find out. You know, amazing. You know what sucks? Every time I'm watching a, a luchador video, like I immediately um, make a comment that I think is moderately clever, and then after I make it, I think, I hope I didn't just blow the spot for where this is supposed to go. I, I hope, hope I didn't just say, eat your way out, and then that's what the fucking second part was about. Immediately regret saying things afterwards. I'm going to start watching luchador promos on silent. They're pretty great. I don't want to ruin any potential way out. We also have Flock Opossum, who we haven't heard from for, for a little while, you oh. know? Hello, drunken peasants. This is a message from your favorite president. 
If you're not a patron, you need to become one so you don't miss out on actual mania. That's fair. The card looks good and my money is in the possum. The sick fuck loves pizza. Don't be a bitch. Join the Patreon today. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Don't forget to get your legal weed from Vance Global and make sure to use code PEASANTS at checkout for 20% off. That's fair. Thank you, Barack Obama. Um, and thank you, Flock of Possum, for using your dignitary ties to former President Barack Obama to promote drunken peasants and actual mania. Yeah, that's all the promos. Guys, let's do a tip train really quick here because we're almost there. We're almost there. <sighs> let's go. <sighs> what if the only way out of the elemental pizza realm is eating your way out pizza by pizza every pizza from a fast from like a major pizza joint pizza by pizza every national pizza joint and then yeah then you get out you have to get a domino's you gotta get a pizza hut you gotta get a papa murphy's a papa john's seth looks saying almost there i refuse to get papa murphy's oh, oh. you refuse to get papa murphy's yep why well, for one thing, I don't have the best oven, but also, uh, no, I, I they're make, they're baking it for me. Fuck that. Mm. I'm not doing it for them. See, I always thought about getting a uh, food truck that has a pizza oven in it and parking it outside of a Papa Murphy's and then charging people $2 to cook their pizza for them. But I'll cook your pizza or like $3. I'll cook your pizza for you for $3 and give you a little box to take it home in. Thank you, Star Spangled Luchador. It's a way off my my mind. I don't understand what's bougie about not eating Papa Murphy's. I'll still eat Pizza Hut and shit like that. I so. think Papa Murphy's is very good for the fact that it tastes decent even out of like an oven that's not like a, a traditional pizza oven. I guess I'd rather just make it myself at that point. I think that one of the big reasons Papa Murphy's exist is because they take food stamps. So oh, yeah, I didn't even know that. Uh, Americans that can't afford to go to Domino's, they get their food stamp card and they can go and they can get themselves a Papa Murphy's take and bake and cook it at home. Interesting. Yeah, every time I would hang out with a friend and they got Papa Murphy's, they would always have it off like food stamp day. And I was like, "Thank you for the Papa Murphys." I lo I know I knew food stamp day because I'd come over and eat Papa Murphys food at my friend's stamp house. Day. It was sweet, but I thought if I got a little food truck with just an oven in it, parked it outside of Papa Murphys, people with food stamps could come by and scrounge up a couple bucks to have me cook it for them, and they could eat it hot and fresh the way it was meant to be, because they can't afford like a big ass pizza full price, but they could scrounge up a couple bucks. 7-Eleven uh, will sell you a pizza on food stamps raw and then <clears throat> cook it for you for free. Hmm. If you guys are out there with your food stamp card, if you're hurting for a squirting and you have a food stamp card, you want a hot pizza, check out your local 7-Eleven. You have to buy it before they cook it, though. That's the catch. If they cook it and sell it to you after they cook it, they can't give you food stamp price. They got You got to do cash. It's a weird little backwards ass sales process. Interesting. <laughs> Step McHug says I'm sick of Costco pizza. That's that's hardcore. How could you get sick of Costco pizza? You must eat it twenty four seven. Yeah, I you know, I know it's the normal plan to go in there and eat it after you leave. But I feel like if you ate it before you go in, you might not be as tempted to like buy more stuff the than Costco maybe. pizza yeah yeah um, the one thing about Costco I think when I go in there I'm not buying impulse because you have to buy so much you know it's like in my mind I'm not thinking of I'm hungry this will be good right now because the pizza's option is there too that might be another <laughs> reason getting a hot dog for a dollar fifty I don't know though, because it's it's weird. You gotta buy like so much when you go to Costco. If you really really like something, you can impulse buy it. If you see like a giant 
box full of but it. But you got to be committed. And I think it's worth it. Like, I, I impulse buy like good meat there because they have good stuff there. Yeah. Everything at Costco is like an investment when you're buying it. You know you're getting a good deal because Costco doesn't like fill their, they don't have the shelf space. They make deals with people to put them in there. They buy big deals and they'll put like, you'll, you'll go there, they'll have like one or two brands of peanut butter tops. We have we have 10 minutes before we hit the four hour mark. Hmm. Yeah. What are you guys going to do? You're going to, you're going to hurt my feelings tonight. We got, uh, the, yeah, but the, it's, it's pretty great there. Their little pizzas are the bomb. What are you talking about? Seven <laughs> Eleven? I don't know what's going on. Does Costco have little pizzas? Luchador is in a pizza D and D adventure. Isn't that fucking cute? I love it. We're like a, a, a almost like seventy bucks away. Hawkeye does like hurting people's feelings, which is you know a Hawkeye thing. Costco has little frozen. Costco has like a giant thing full of, full of frozen pizzas. There's like a variety of frozen pizzas there. I don't really like frozen pizzas as much as like. Like I, 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 I don't know. I used to like frozen pizzas, and I think I'd now I'd rather just make my own r- rather than make a frozen pizza. I think another big thing about Costco not getting the the food on the way in is because the samples are out, right? There are. Sa- I, you- I usually don't take those. Really? Yeah. Teddy Rubskin says, get on the train and ride it. Ride it all night long. Choo-choo, woo-woo, chugga, chugga, chugga. Do it. Do it right. Yeah, Do right now's the, the time. We need heroes out there. Thank you, T-Rux. Little C's isn't bad for the price, to be honest. No, Everyone, you know, like, if if a couple of you just start throwing in fivers, we could make this very easy. Also, if you guys check ghost kitchens in your area on Postmates or uber eats or whatever a lot of times these pizza kitchens are going to give you like a buy one get one free deal it's pretty nuts hey moda cool there it is with the fridge vomit all, right. all over himself him or herself thank you moda cool for the big love that's awesome we are 95 percent of the way to our goal 40 dollars away 1033 fix soul gets us there we go gets us to 96.29 29 dollars and 67 cents away <laughs> Wow Wow You know uh, There's a brewery called the Bellevue Brewing Company And yeah. well, This is just them coming through yeah. Ghost Get on the train and ride it Ride it all night long oh, Choo yeah. choo Woo woo Chug gut chug gut chug Do it Do it right Do it in the butt Doing the butt. They used to just like cook all their food in smokers. Like almost everything there was like smoked stuff. Uh, and then a different restaurant moved into that place, and the brewing company moved. They they built like a whole bunch of new shit, like or like hmm. where it used to be. It's pretty crazy. And now that's a pizza place. They have like stone uh, pizza ovens in there, like the wood fired brick pizza ovens. DP Ghost for third peasant. I kind of like to think that the DP Ghost is third peasant. FBO asks, how are the cauliflower pizzas? I get cauliflower pizzas at Mod Pizza all the time. And even when I'm not doing keto. Yes, there it is. Much love. Eric, getting us to that goal. Goal. Much love. Thank you, guys, by the way. Uh, A a four-hour show is a good, healthy show. That is a good length. I'm, I'm very happy that we're going to be able to get out of here in four hours, but also give you guys <clears throat> a quality show. I, I, I know tonight's episode has been high octane. Ben has worked hard getting this fucking layout set up. He's been excited about it. Yeah. It's, we got We got this momentum that I think is brewing to the audience as well. Thank you guys for being a part of this upward momentum. Yes. Getting us through to literally the ninth birthday of Drunken Peasants. It's getting... January 3rd or 4th? <clears throat> I can't remember. It's not, it's not January 6th, is it? I think 3rd. <laughs> I think it's probably 3rd. Yeah. That's crazy. That's nine years. 
Thanks, no thanks that to Magicus crazy. and his sacrificial liver. <laughs> we didn't have Magicus this week, unfortunately. That's funny. <clears throat> but it's, it's good times. Lewis, cheers. I like when someone uh, refers to us as gents. It's a lot better than when they call us the other name. <clears throat> when they call us maggots with an F. I don't like that. I don't like that word. Oh, yeah. So the old Bellevue Brewing Company became Cascadia Pizza. That's so weird. It's Did good, though. I, I had the pizza. It is good. Cascadia Pizza Company. But do check into your local pizzerias. Like something like Cascadia Pizza Company. That's obviously a local company. Yes. Supporting local is... Probably the Enum, best option when it comes to pizza. Enumclaw, Maple Valley, and Bellevue. So it has three locations. Hmm. When I buy Mod Pizza, I'm supporting local. Mod Pizza is a national chain, but it's from Seattle. So here's, the, here's the pizzas. What's that? <laughs> uh, a margarita? That's a good pizza. Yeah, I like margarita a lot. The marinara? No cheese? It's I don't a know tomato about pie. that. I don't know about that. I don't oh, like it. In uh, In Connecticut... That's like one of the signatures is the tomato pie. They also have the clam uh, pie. It says here the marinara is a red wine reduction sauce <clears throat> with garlic paste. Oh, it really says good. there is cheese. Are they bullshitting on the cheese is it underneath the red sauce? It Where's the be. cheese? It might be. I, find, I call bullshit on the cheese. I like the pepperoni with the with the pepperoni that like curls in cups, becomes can, little cups. I can see their Cascadia margarita. It's just the margarita, but with a balsamic drizzle. The butcher. Looks good. As prosciutto, bacon, and with along with pepperoni. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's solid. The evergreen, the Mama Lil's peppers. They, I like Mama Lil's peppers. Yeah, so. they're they're pretty popular. And goat cheese. Yeah, that sounds really good. Actually, Maxwell Jacob Freedom says, "Imagine being proud of Seattle." What are you talking about? What are you trying to What are you trying to say, Mac Maxwell Jacob Friedman? Freedom. Freedom. Max, Friedman. Maxwell Jacob <laughs> Friedman. Freedom. I don't know if they'll like that because you just called them Jewish, basically. Well, Maxwell Jacob Friedman is MJF and AEW. Yeah, yeah. So I called, I was reading the name incorrectly, not calling them Jewish. I mispronounced. I don't know. Maxwell Jacob Freedom's name. I don't know. I do know. I don't know. I think that was a dog whistle. I'm going to whistle and get your dogs down here and milk them. Make some mac <laughs> <No>. and cheese. <laughs> I know those girl dogs. They'll make some great mac and cheese. What the fuck is this Wolverine? Barbecue I don't know, sauce, but I think they might be Michigan fans Cheese, or brisket, fresh jalapenos, top of coleslaw, and pickled red onion. Damn That's it, insane. I think I would eat that. It's got brisket on it. Yeah. A Lolo is barbecue sauce, cheese, chicken, bacon, red onion, jalapenos, pineapple, top of cilantro. It has a barbecue sauce base. All yeah, these all, pe- all three of these yeah. do. Interesting. <clears throat> Wood-fired breadsticks. <laughs> but they serve it, it like circular. Yeah, that's that's what they do a lot of the times. I wonder if they have the dough pre-made here. And that's because this is what they do at Mod Pizza as well. They have Their breadsticks are just doughs that are circular. Yeah. I don't know. Maxwell um, Jacob Freedom says, I'm offended. Will be offended. I'd be offended, too, if I was a fucking idiot. Okay? Be offended. You want to you call out my city, Seattle? Born and raised here, by the way. Born and raised in Seattle. You want to act like you could take away my pride? I built this city on rocking pizza rolls, motherfucker. Come at me. I, I'm not insulting my fans. I'm insulting my enemies because my fans would never speak to me or my city this way. And if you speak poorly on my city, you're my enemy. Lady Gaga, my enemy. If you, <laughs> Lady Gaga. If you speak poorly on my city, it's <coughs> on. My fans would never talk to me that way. God damn it. Never come in here and tell me. They never come in here and tell me your mom died, and never come in here and tell me Seattle's not a city to be proud of. Two things I will not stand for. 
Damn. I hope your no. I hope nobody's mom ever dies. Fuck. That's I, so to joke sad. about that is is fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love I love your moms, all of your moms. My mom more though, but all your moms, I love them all. You're so offensive. Uh, I try to be. Ladies and gentlemen, we are literally ending the show right the fuck now. <laughs> yes. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you, guys. Good night. <laughs>